All right, welcome everyone. To the 2023 Fred Astaire National Dance Championships. My name is Nicholas with Danceport Dynamics. Proudly live streaming this event for you for the Fred Astaire Dance Studios. We have five professional events for you tonight. Finishing up some Pro-Am Awards right now and we'll get started momentarily. We have the quarterfinal round of the American Style Open Smooth. That's Pro Heat 10. Pro Heat 11 is the Professional Open Cabaret. Pro Heat 12 is the Open International Ballroom. Open International Ballroom. Pro Heat 13 is the quarterfinal round of the Open Style American Rhythm. And Pro Heat 14 is the semifinal round of the Open International Latin. So those five events. Smooth Ballroom Rhythm Latin Cabaret. That's what we're going to be showing you tonight. Hello, Sharon. Hello, Jean. Welcome, welcome. If you guys are wondering who I'm speaking to, I'm talking to the people in the live chat. You two can be part of the conversation. All you need to do is log into YouTube, type in your credentials, and start typing underneath your video panel. You should see a little... Click on that, start typing, you can ask questions, you can give shout outs to your favorite dancers. I will mention this, our numbers jump quite drastically over the wee hours of the morning. Sometimes they almost double. And that's a lot to do with this Professionals, once they get off the floor, they get upstairs, they get, you know, done from the events, and they sit down and they watch the, the dancing, and they like to see what you guys have to say. We have Jessica, too. Hello, Jessica. Sorry. Lots of likes already. I appreciate that. And, I again, I checked my... My stats, over 70% of the people that watch these streams are not subscribed to the channel. I don't know why you're not subscribed. If you like ballroom dancing, that's the only thing that our channel does. You're not signing up for anything. You won't get emails, you won't get text messages, you won't get phone calls. Subscribing, sim and it's free, is simply just going to slightly affect what YouTube suggests for you when you log into YouTube. Hello, Lori. Hello, Aaron. I am excited for the professional competitions as well. Melissa says hello. Tell me where you guys are watching from. What part of the world are you watching? We had some people from Colombia on Tuesday night. Lisa's from Indiana. Excited probably to see David and Elizabeth. I'm just checking to see if uh, Dylan and Carmen are dancing. Yeah, Dylan and Carmen are dancing. So maybe you're going to cheer for both. That's great. Liz is watching from New York. Hello, Liz. Welcome to the broadcast, the live stream. We're not broadcasting yet. Eventually. I should be joined tonight with some fabulous guest hosts. I just saw someone I haven't seen in a couple years. Came and said hi. Lisa says, yes, love David and Elizabeth. Melissa's watching from New York. Sherry Lynn's watching from Albany, New York. Welcome, Sherry Lynn.
we'll be playing our game of who best dressed in each division. There's more of you watching than just a handful of people that have checked in. I mean, you guys, don't be shy. I'm nice, usually. Oxa says, looking forward to watching more incredible dancing tonight. Welcome, Oxa. Where are you watching from, Oxa? I think I know. The <laughs> land of snow. Oxa, did you get snow on Halloween? Because where I'm from, we did. We got four inches of snow. That was wonderful. I am looking forward to it. I will tell you guys, uh, best dressed pro rhythm. That is a good question. I think it was. Oh no, that was the Latin. Let me, let me check on that, Aaron, I will get back to you. But I'll go ahead and go through the order, uh, and couples with their numbers, so you guys can easily shout them out from at home. 120, couple 120 is Casey Bicking and Samantha Lucatoni from Beaverton. 121 is Alexander Beluzov and Tanya Nunez from Glastonbury. 131 is Ihor Chibashev and Diana Joshan from Southbury. 132 is Anton Chib Chibakala and Josephine Octorloni from Fort Myers. 135, Jesus Cortez and Alyssa Marie from Houston Woodlands. 141, David Elzer and Elizabeth Krug from Carmel. 146, Emilio Flores and Leah Brown from Lake Houston. 155, Evgeny Grinin and Olga Mor Morozova from Philadelphia. 161, Maxim Ilyanov and Victoria Ilyanova from Terrytown. 169, Denise Karasov and Anastasia Karasova from Awatuki. 172, Karaton Komenko and Anastasia Komenko from Northbrook. 178, Alexander Karmenchutsky and Alexandra Babenko from Madison West. 191, Juan Martinez and Jamila Molina from Lakewood Ranch. 205, Lieb Obrazov and Oksana Mikichik from Brewster. 208, Oleg Ovenchinkov and Karina Nugumanova. Well, that was fun. I don't know if that's right, but I like saying it. Nugumanova. Fort Walton Beach. 212, Gonzalo Pavez and Daniela Moreno from Venice. 217, Vasil Vasily Platonov and Irina Platonov from Milwaukee. 219, Dimitro Poebil and Ali Kushner from Miami Beach. 228, Yevgeny Rosenfeld and Olha Novakova from Manasquan. 231, Alexander Richkov and Naomi Cook from Pewaukee. 237, Ben Seifert and Ashley Madeley from Houston Woodlands, 238, Vladimir Serbalenko and Ivana Strankarik from Southbury, 243, Sergei Solodov and Ekaterina Mazalonikova from Lancaster, 245, Ivan Sovatov and Valeria Mekertijan from Syracuse, 248, Svetomir Stoinov and Natalia Blokina from Canton, 270, Patrick Wysocki and Haley Hentz from Pleasant Prairie, 289, Roman Primachuk and Hanna Primachuk from Albany, that's our quarterfinal round of the American Smooth. Sharon is asking if we're playing the drinking game tonight. We're not going to do it tonight because we typically do it for the patterns. You won't see Fred Astaire patterns tonight. This is all open material, but I encourage you to partake in whatever <laughs> will make the evening more fun for you. Uh, 
Ox is watching from Milwaukee, and she did get a bit of snow, but it's all gone now. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. Thank you, Jeannie. See? Smarter people. Victor and uh, Vaselina won the rhythm. You're absolutely right. Lori, drinking game for cabaret should be every time there's a lift. Oh, that's good. Michelle Martinez says, hello from Albany. Best of luck to our local dancers. Go Albany. Jean says, go Vasily and Arena. Sherry Lynn says, good luck, Hannah and Roman. Melissa says, 289, Roman and Hannah. Lori says, go Pewaukee. Jean says, but feel free to drink anyway. That's right. Michelle says, yay, Roman and Hannah. All right, let's go to our cabaret. We have two couples, Andre Lecca. That's two, uh, couple 181, Andre Lecca and Celeste Rodriguez from Northport. And 218, Zachary Pohl and Ariel Freilich from Pewaukee. In the Open International Ballroom, we've got four couples. 155, Yevgeny Grinin and Olga Mor Morozova from Philadelphia. 190, Alexei Halakatinov and Olha Malakatinova from Brewster. 234, Maxim Savitsky and Polina Rybovil from North Scottsdale. And 288, Danielo Dobrovlowski and Anastasia Mal Malovana from North Scottsdale. Quarterfinal round of the American Rhythm. We have couple 110, Christopher Arika and Dixon Gonzalez from Lakefield Ranch. 113, Arkady Astanusov and Ariana Trilogy from Winter Park. 127, Victor Caneo and Vaselina Barabash from Milwaukee. 146, Emilio Flores and Lucero Vasquez from Lake Houston. 153, Dmitry Goncharov and Veronica Chapar. From Greenfield, 169, Denise Karasov and Anastasia Karasova from Awatuki. 170, Richard Kazash and Fotinia Pangea from Cyprus. 180, Vlad Kupinski, Krupinski and Tara Fanzo from Princeton. 185, Ryan Lockhart and Danelle Lockhart from Carmel Mountain Ranch. 186, Jandar Lopez and Ashley Mattingly from River Oaks. 189, Emmanuel Magnesco and Olga Kobleva from Houston Champions. 191, Juan Martinez and Jamila Molina from Lakewood Ranch. 200, Shem Madrinsky and Magdalena Zabira from Menominee Falls. 207, Ernesto Olivas and Caroline Fossum from Milwaukee. 212, Gonzalo Pavez and Daniela Moreno from Venice. 227, Roger Romero and Arismel Naya from Warwick. 239, Kristen Sese and May Lozada from Palm Beach Gardens. 243, Sergei Solodov and Ekaterina Mazlenkova. Mazlenkova, sorry. Lenikova, Lenikova from Lancaster. 245, Ivan Sovatov and Valeria Mekrtichan from Syracuse. 266, Vasil Wojnarowski and Kristina Wojnarowska from Glastonbury. And 269, Dylan Wolf and Carmen Schlatter from Fort Wayne. That is our rhythm couples. And then finally, our international couples. Couple 143, Tillema, Tillema House and Fatsis and Elizabeth Mantani from Cyprus. Two, 165, Sergey Ivanov and Yevgenia Zirinova from Youngstown. 174, Mikhail Kolosov and Elena Semka from Hershey. 177, Alexander Kozhikar and Rachel Seyadovich from New Berlin. 198, Roman Melnick and Anna Melnick from South Tampa. 208, Oleg Ovchinikov Ovchin and, oh, there we go, <laughs> Karina Nugum Nugumanova from Fort Walton Beach. 249, Gabor Super and Kitty Seuss from Stone Oak. 258, Danil Timoshenko and Vladislava Versilova from North Scottsdale. 262, Robin Vescus and Diana Gavrilova from North New York East. 264, Jed Villaruel and Rose Jean Marquez Villaruel from Bloomfield Hills. 287, Alex Fedorov and Anastasia Konieva from North Scottsdale. That is our list in its entirety. So you got the numbers. Hopefully you wrote them down. Gene says, go Vasily and Irina. Sherry Lynn says, good luck, Hannah and Roman. 
Melissa says 289, Roman and Hannah. Lori says go be walkie. Gene says, but oh, I already read these. Field, where did I leave off? Sharon says good luck, Svet and Natasha. Lori says yay, Zach and Ariel Cabaret. Go Ernie and Caroline, 207, Ernie and Caroline. There we go. Thank you for the likes. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. Two easiest ways you can help out our channel, and you'll have this warm, fuzzy feeling after you do it. It's a simple little push with your finger. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up button. It's great. Hey, Pushpa's in the house. Welcome, Pushpa. Hello. Uh, a bad knee after last comp in September got me to withdraw from this competition. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you're doing better. Pushpa's been a big supporter of the dance board dynamics. Ola G's in the house. Welcome, Ola G. Good luck, Haritone and Anastasia. Thank you for stopping in, Ola. I think she's watching from the land of Lincoln. Aaron, where are you watching from tonight? Daniil and Vladislava competing tonight. They'll be your pick to win. We have Fred Astaire Dance Studios of Fort Myers, and they're cheering on good luck. Anton and Josephine, couple 132. Michelle says, thank you for announcing, Mr. Announcer. My pleasure, Michelle. And guess what? I'm joined by not one, but two fantastic gentlemen. Maybe. Let me bring them up here. And there they are. We're back. Ooh, la, 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 la. That's right, back by popular demand. Did you miss us? We missed you. We missed you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got hearts. Yeah, click the hearts if you missed. <laughs> oh, they're still going. The dynamic trio. Butter biscuit and... But butter biscuit, love muffin, <laughs> and rhubarb <Love> pie. <laughs> this is never going to end, is nope. it? <laughs> love it. Aaron's watching from Buffalo, New York. Wonderful. Mark Elson checks in. He says, hi. Uh, looking forward to an exciting evening. Go Badgers. All right. He's watching, obviously, from Wisconsin. Ah, Wisconsin. Deborah says, go Connecticut couples. Ox says, Ernie and Caroline. Sending lots of happy clouds your way. Oh, that's nice. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for the thumbs up. I appreciate that. Thanks for the love. There was lots of love for Ernie and Caroline last night. Agreed. Mm -hmm. Ernie and Caroline taking all I, the love. I had, there are, when they come out, the Ernie fans are in, like, force. He has, I don't know. He has some stands. Yeah, like, <laughs> there'll be a whole bunch of people that, that support him. It's kind of cool. No, it's not kind of. It's pretty cool. I got you a sheet. Was there a sheet sitting on you? No. No? Am I sitting on a sheet? No. Did I steal your sheet? What is this sheet? I had a sheet for you. Holy sheet. Is this behind us? No. Don't mind us. I did. We're just randomly talking here. I did. I'm sorry, gentlemen. I stole your sheet. So now they have the sheets, too. Oh, yay. Yeah. I can see all of our beautiful couple's names. Gene says, welcome back, love muffin and butter biscuit. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Hello, Gene. <laughs> Yes, uh, Deborah, this will be start of the Open. And some of the events, the uh, two American events are quarterfinal rounds. The ballroom event is a final round, and the Latin is a semifinal round. The cabaret is a final round. And that should be starting just in a couple minutes. I think they're on the, just the last few awards for the Pro-Am. Competition's going on all week. 20,000 entries started early Monday morning, every day, about 8 o'clock in the morning, going until about... Nine o'clock at night or so. If I'm not mistaken, doesn't tomorrow start at 7 a.m.? Don't remind me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Love Muffin will not be here at 7 a.m. Rhubarb Pie will probably just stay here because I'm going to be here until 3 or something. Just the show. sleep back here behind the and chairs. Back at 6 to open up everything. So Butter Biscuit's going to be slicking his hair back. It's already slicked back. Nah, but we got to re slick it back. Re slick. Suzanne says hi from Awatuki. Hey, Awatuki, love it. One of my favorite cities to say. Ooh, what's up first? It's going to be your open professional American smooth. 
a quarterfinal. We need to have a watch party next time. He sounds hot. Who sounds hot? Which one? All of us. I think probably, it's, it's probably think, Butter Biscuit. Yeah, I was going to say, I, well, no, I think it's Love Muffin. Love Muffin. Let's, let's be real. <laughs> it's rhubarb. It is, it is, rhubarb. It is rhubarb. It's rhubarb pie. Rhubarb takes the cake. He takes the pie. He takes the pie. Whoa. Ooh. Amazing entry volume. Oh, uh, Ola, so uh, <laughs> let me get this right. Uh, Love Muffin is Aaron Stowell. That's correct. From Florida. And uh, Butter bi No. Yeah. That's butter Biscuit? Yeah. Tis I, Butter Biscuit. Uh, Jean Dar Lopez. Tis I. For those of you who weren't biscuit. here last night, uh, there was some oh, interesting, right. fun nicknames given out. Somebody that I uh, have known for many years uh, likes to, uh, she was involved in the studio that I was in in Fort Walton, and she loved to call me that. And then she shouted it out on the chat, and uh, then all of the nicknames just started flooding into the chat. So rolling in. We, we, settled on, we settled on a few. We did. That we did. That we did. So really, we're um, hashtag squad carbs. Yeah. <laughs> hashtag squad carbs. Yeah. I love that. Uh, Deb, we will be starting with the quarterfinal of the smooth, and then they're going to go into the final of the cabaret, I believe, is second. For showsies, vibes, love it, vibes. Uh, no, that's not true. Smooth, there's smooth. A, there's a special thing before. It's not in your list. I have the special list. There's a. Oh, I do. You have do the have special it. You, don't have, you just don't have their names. I, 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 I knew what it was. It's a half okay. special thing. I know the special. We three know the special we thing. We know the thing, guys. But there's you a special three thing at, later. I, but you, you three at, home, at home, you don't get to know what it is yet. Yeah, you don't get to know. Okay. Pro-Am Dance Word Vibes is laughing. So uh, let me give you a little backstory on Aaron. So he is a storied competitor, <laughs> professional competitor. Are you? You're are not you currently. But you're still in. You would, right? If the proper situation okay. arose, I have oh. not been on the floor competing professionally since December. We're searching okay. for a, a fellow, a fellow muffin. Mm. I don't know about the phrasing of that. You don't know? <laughs> In any regard. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wonderful competitor and studio owner, Fred Astaire Dance Studio franchisee. And Jandar, same thing, actually. Hello, he's yes. an active competitor. He's just not doing it this weekend because Ooh. of unfortunate events. It's been a series of unfortunate events. People just have to get injured sometimes. It's just unfortunate. Sometimes they do. That's right. My friend and I are push grounded. Says hello. Push up, push up, 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 up. My darling, welcome to the live streaming. Oh, one of our fellow uh, dance board members, Mr. Victor Rusu, shouts out. Good luck to all of the couples tonight. Shout out, Victor. Thank you, sir. Oh, we're ready to go. Gearing up. Here come the judges. Are the judges going to behave tonight and not block your judges' cam? Yeah, you know what? I tell them every, every time, but it doesn't help. It's okay. So I thought of last night, actually this morning, um, how to incorporate your, uh, your drinking game into the open divisions. Okay. Every time uh, a girl does a batma, you take a shot. Ah. Anytime there's a leg that shoots up it directly into the air. Oh, gosh. Do we have enough liquor back here for that? <laughs> I'm drinking water. Don't tell them what we have. I mean, do we have enough water and Gatorade yeah. back here for that? Yeah. I'm well, actually hydrate. drinking water. <laughs> you actually are. I oh, like hold on. Oh, General we, dance of the wobble. Yes, everyone's favorite line dance. This never gets old. And yep, <laughs> Braxton, first one out on first the floor. First one out on the floor. He's going to drop it low. They working it. They are working it. 
Thank you, Victor, for checking in with us. I appreciate that very much. Oh, and Margaret, you're totally welcome. We love doing this for you. We know everybody can't get out to see our nationals every single time we have a party like this, but we're glad you're here with us live. Toys, if toes pointed, then take take a shot. Well, during the pros, that might that you, I mean, drunk quick. I don't know if you'd be standing very long. I thought about uh, every time there's a tornillo. Oh, okay, that's a good one too. That is a good Anytime one. Anytime there's a standing spin. Yep. Standing spin. Okay, tornillo. Oh, we've got a couple of the judges jumping in on the wobble too. They got to be careful up there on those stairs, eh? Well, it's Kimberly over there on the floor, our lovely oh, judge, Kimberly okay. Mitchell. She's yeah. safely on the floor. Actually, all of our pros over, you can't see them, but all the pros over on the on-deck area are... Uh, they're all wobbling. They're all there wobbling. You go. They're getting warmed Give us up and ready. Give a shot of that. Give us a shot of that, plant. Like, literally, <laughs> both lines of them are all That's just fun. moving That around. is the classiest wobble <laughs> I've ever seen. A cool quarterfinal heat of the most beautiful ball gowns and suits, <laughs> just wobbling. I didn't mention this is, of course, a World Cup Series event. Gentlemen, hey, what do you think about the World Cup Series? I think Ooh. it's phenomenal. Agreed. I mean, it has opened up so many opportunities, A, for um, our us and our students to be able to travel all over the country and in some places all over the world and be a part of other regions and see how um, other other areas run their competitions, the camaraderie of every it's fun, of everybody. Right? It's so much fun. It is fun. And it is fun. Both John Dar and I in previous years, multiple times, have both been in the the top twenty of all of the instructors. You got a giant check? Oh this yeah, is, I got I'm a giant so check. Jealous. Actually I I was about to bring that up, but in a very a very nice way because the very first year they did the World Cup series um, I was fortunate enough to finish ninth. I was, they did top 20, I was 21. Whoa! <laughs> so uh, first year was I, not my year. But I, I, I finished ninth, and then the lockdown happened. COVID happened, and we were supposed to have this huge announcement, and they were supposed to do a, a CCDC, but because they couldn't do it anymore, they were foregoing those awards till later in the year. However, something that I very much appreciated Shout out to our wonderful company of Fred Astaire that even like during the lockdown, even though they couldn't really give us our awards publicly, oh, yeah. they did come forward and they gave us our award money during the COVID lockdown just to help out all those professionals mm -hmm. that, were gonna, that were looking forward or that were, had worked so hard to receive those bonus checks. And I'm telling you, personally for me, you know, I'm not going to disclose exactly how much it was, but you can go it back and see the pictures. But it oh, was, yeah, you can see he was pictures. buying drinks for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I would have been had it been here, but I'll tell you, I used that check to really... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I used that check to really just help out my family and my whole household because oh, nice. at, at that point in time, you know, like, the landlords were cracking down, you know, rent was hard to, 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 to make, no one was really working. I mean, we were all just teaching as many lessons as we could on Zoom, doing the best we could, and... That check, no joke, that saved our lives. Like, that was a big deal for us to receive that. That's so, awesome. So thanks, Fred Astaire. World Cup Series, I'm here for it, forever and always. So I have a theory uh, maybe both of you can shed some light on. I think maybe it's not as much for you guys, but where, where I'm from, we've got um, lots of regions that are really close to each other within driving distance. We have Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana, Michigan. They're all relatively close. Sure. So having the interregional events, now you open up all kinds of different events that you previously couldn't go to. I'm saying as a professional. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now you can get more floor experience. Is that is that something you found to be helpful or not so much? I think there was only, um, you know, because in previous years, for me anyway, uh, as being a part of the World Cup Series, I was highly motivated and my students were going to all of the competitions with me. Right. I think there was maybe only one event that I went to that I wasn't actually dancing pro-am with my students. And I was like, you know what, this one, like, I don't have any students going, but there's a big comp coming up, whether it was like one of our national events or uh, like a uh, US championships or something like that. And I was like, you know what, let me just go, just go the two of us and get that little bit of extra practice. Yeah, that little bit of extra floor time really goes, it really goes a long way. It's a wonderful, a 
a great opportunity now that we have all of these these interregionals popping up, you know, so that um, some uh, some professionals feel like they have to kind of get out on the independent circuit just to try to get any kind of experience. Now, if you're taking yourself as a, as a serious national competitor or if that's the direction you want to go, there are certain things you have to branch out to and try to go and hit, you know, to try to get the experience one, trying to get some face quality, some face time with some of those people. But if you're just looking for floor time, the Furniture Interregionals are a great place to get that because you can, you know, it's all it's all in family. And also the best part about that is you're guaranteed great service at a Furniture competition. Oh, for sure. Hands down, hands and down. I, I never have any problems taking my student to any Furniture event. What's also great is that, you know, before World Cup Series started and all the Interregionals, um, if you were um, a pro competitor mm -hmm. that did not compete on the independent circuit, you only had your three in some regions or four uh, regional events, and then our three national events you could compete at. And now, That's you know, if you want to just stay within our amazing company, you can go to one, if not sometimes two events a month. Correct. And, and get, you know, yes. quadruple the experience that you had before and you're with your family. Yes, I'm really glad you said that because there are, there are, you know, just to, to call a spade a spade, there are different levels of intensity of professional competition. Mm -hmm. You know, like some people just want to do it because they want to know what it is they have to deliver uh, to their students as a professional teacher, as a studio owner. Some people really want to get into it to really go all the way. So, you know, uh, sometimes you end up being kind of like a, a big fish in a small pond. And so it's really nice to branch out a little bit to head to other regions and to kind of get your feet wet, you know, uh, on on uh, foreign soil, you could say, but not having to necessarily go outside of the Fred Astaire bubble to mm -hmm. do that. So it's, it's, it's a bit easier, more palatable, I'll say, to kind of get get that experience in-house, inside the family of Fred Astaire. And same thing mirroring for our students, too, is now Correct. if we yes. want more opportunity to dance with our students, we don't have to go outside of our own company. We've got, you know, our big family right here that we can go anywhere. That's anywhere true. in the country. Almost anywhere in the world. We're getting there. We are. All right. We have all of our Johnny oh. adjudicators. Here all we right. Go. We're moving to Pro Heat number 10. Uh, Pro Heat number 10. This is the quarterfinal round of our Open American Smooth. Judges, we have 25 couples coming onto the floor. You're going to call back 13. 13 from 2. 13 from 2. We're going to have a short comparison dance with all of our couples. And then we'll be splitting them into two heats. All right, couples. 25 couples. How many did we have last night? Wasn't it around the same number? It was, but they were called 12. Yeah, Tonight they they'll be recalling music. 13 couples into the semifinal with an all-on waltz. It always, um, all-on in uh, smooth is made. <laughs> it, it, always, uh, it always made me nervous dancing smooth because uh, I was like, somebody's going to get a foot in the face. Oh, gosh, But, yes. you know, looking out here in this uh, this sea of, right, of madness, as I call it, uh, you know, open. everyone's American navigating food. so, so well. It's just a sea of arms right now. It is. It's, it's truly amazing. All right. Thank you, couples. All right, group one, please stay on the floor. Stay on, group one. By the way, you're listening to the sultry song stylings of Jim Carter, our MC tonight. For those of you who are listening in, you may have had a show or two choreographed by again, Mr. Jones, Jim and his Carterography. Carterography. Tonight, tonight he's, he's gifting his voice right, to us to MC these professional is. open events. And who, who do we else? have on music tonight? I think it's Jason. Ooh. That's correct. You know, right. another, just like Colin we had last night. A true professional. Another one of the best in the business. It's going to be a great soundtrack for the evening. Absolutely. You're watching David and Elizabeth from Indiana in the green. They've been working very hard. The, I, exa yeah, being out, um, you know, being at a lot of these independent comps this year, I have seen them more times this year than I think I have in the years that I've known That's them. That's true. They've hit it hard. They've done a lot of reorganization on their style and their choreography. David demonstrating some very clean body lines, and Elizabeth is filling that out musically so wonderfully there. Oh, 
We've got some shout outs. Go Sasha and Naomi. Ooh, go Anastasia. Also earlier, go Ryan and Danelle. We're gonna see them later in the open rhythm division. Mm -hmm. Could be a big night for them. Could be. Make sure you give some shout outs to all your favorite couples. Dennis. We have a shout out for couple 141. That's, oh, David and Elizabeth. David and Elizabeth, there they are. Getting some love in the chat. You too, please take the floor. You know, one of my favorite things right. about um, being a part of this company is we really do have some of the best, For the like walls. the best teachers, the best dancers. Agreed. And, you know, you go out into the independent world and you just watch and it's just not the same. Now, there are uh, incredible dancers out there and some of them are the top dancers in the country, but you see our pros out there right alongside them in those final rounds. Oh. We've got some uh, different looks on the floor tonight than some couples were wearing last night. Ooh, who are you uh, looking at? Vasily and Irina. I don't think I've ever seen her in something quite like this over on the corner of the floor. Sure, yes. Nice black dress. You can't go wrong with that. Classy and simple with the marabou feathers. That too was top. quite striking on this floor with the blue in the background. She doesn't get mm -hmm. swallowed up with that black on the floor tonight. That's true. As I'm looking out there right now, I'm not quite sure if I'm seeing anybody who's like muted themselves, I guess you could say. Like everybody's, you know, standing out really, really well, which in an event like this is what you, you really want to like put your best foot forward, bring out your best costumes and really showcase you. Yes. We actually have a shout out for Vasily and Irina. Vasily and Irina. Thank you, group two. Group one, please take the floor. Moving into the tango next. We agree, super classy dress. Mm-hmm. All right, group one, your second dance. And God, listen, I have the to say this. All these dancers are gorgeous, but I'm just staring up there, and I mean, doesn't Jim just look handsome tonight? <laughs> what are you talking about? He they all look absolutely beautiful, no, 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 all but, sitting up there on the podium. But Jim especially just looks so handsome. He's just... A good-looking son of a gun. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna warn you there, Jandar. He does check in with the live, live stream every and what's, once in a while. What's, you, you know, <laughs> look, uh, see? yeah, we, um, <clears throat> we might not, we won't divulge too much information, but we might have been paid to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way that they uh, lit the room for the tango because it makes. The screen, like the floor looks very orange, but then the screen behind them has that like really bright kind of like sunset colors to it. I would agree. So it adds to kind of, I feel like it kind of really adds to the drama. You like that, huh? I yeah, do. Is, is that, that you? Tangible? I wonder. Yeah. Is that you? That Brilliantly one. executed by Rhubarb Pie. Rhubarb Pie for all the about no. lighting. Uh, I just told him what to do, but Logan's the gentleman that's actually doing the work tonight. Logan, thank the, you, Logan. The gentleman to my right? Yeah. Oh. Thank you, Logan. Love the lighting. Mwah. Chef's kiss. We have a shout out for Emilio and Leah. Oh, Emilio and Leah from Texas, Lake Houston. Great to see you guys out there. The Lone Star uh, State. Group one. Group take the floor. I agree, Sharon. It is extremely hard to be a judge tonight. I thought last night watching this was tough. I'm looking out there right now, and I'm like, ooh, everybody is fighting to get into that semifinal tonight. They're all fighting. Correct. Tango. Little fun fact about Logan. 
So uh, the company is called Exciting Events that provides all the equipment that we're using. Uh, Logan no longer works for them. But because we like him so much, we've uh, requested him to be involved in all of our national events. So he flew out just for us. So well, there you go. He's amazing. Those of you watching. This competition, it's better for it. Yeah. You can see a bit of what we see on your screens tonight, but even live, it's so vibrant. Oh, yeah. It, it's a whole different field than last night. Agreed. And, you know, something that's different that I love that we do as a company is when our pro heats are on, we turn down the house lights. We dim them a little bit. We that's dim right. the you, house you lights. You give it almost like a stadium lighting feel, yes, like and, theatrical. And really let the lighting be focused on our dancers versus being able to see, like, everything all over the room. And it really allows for um, a lot of those dress colors to really pop and allows for the judges, I feel like, um, to be able to see our couples better without them getting lost in the background of what's happening. Agreed. Because, um, you know, around this room, now we have a Bingo. very full room tonight. It is. It's packed. Uh, Everybody's showing up to see these pros. But around this room, we've got, you know, a lot of people just kind of moving around the room. And so it's easy to see, like, moving couples on top of moving couples. Right. And am I correct, they do dim the lights like this as well for almost the entire evening session for the students as well? They do. So when you, if you're, uh, if you're a student participating at our Fred Astaire national events, when you get to the what evening sessions for your championships and your scholarships, you're going to get a chance to get a little bit of that stadium lighting yourself. They'll dim the lights down for you on the outside, so the spotlight is just on you, baby. Ooh, shout out to Logan in the chat. Don't we know it? And Roman and Hannah. Ooh, they yes. Go Glastonbury. Glastonbury. Couple from Glastonbury is Alexander and Tanya. It's a great box track. It is. You got what it takes. There you go, Sean. You should sing all the songs tonight. Right, sing over the music. I'll, I'll, because we're not allowed to let you hear the music, so I might as well sing it for you. <laughs> we, um, Even if rather shabbily. <laughs> that could be one of two things. We could either, our views could increase exponentially, or, we could or drop they everything. could tank. That's right. <laughs> You know, here's something fun we could do. Give us shout outs on the, in the chat from where in the US or in the world, where are you watching from? Oh yes, we'd love to know where you are. We're here in Orlando, Florida, of course. I would say sunny Orlando, Florida, but you know, it's so cold outside, it dropped down into the high 60s It's today. a bit nippy outside, just it's saying. It's so cold. <laughs> yes, but Meanwhile, it's want. snowing in the Midwest. That's true, but we would love, <laughs> again guys, we would love to hear where you are. Chime in and let us know where you're watching from. I lost where we were. Was that Heat 1 or was that Heat 2? <laughs> Let's find out if they do Fox Friday again. It's a good way to do it. <laughs> the Fox Oh, that was Heat 1. That was Heat 1. So okay, we're, we're on Heat, heat two, 2 now. <laughs> I got so excited just watching. I was like, wait, have we watched Fox Trot twice now? I can't remember. Oh, Sabrina is in Orlando, Florida, watching from her hotel room right upstairs. So oh. Sabrina has a very strict uh, bedtime from her uh, teacher. Oh, I see. So she dances tomorrow early. So. Sorry about that. Well, that's good. But it's one of the benefits of having the stream. She can watch from the comfort that's of her hotel room. Ah. That's true. We've got Push Puff, Push Puff from, from Houston. Houston. Whoop, whoop. Oh, we have somebody watching from Poland. From Poland. Watching from Arizona. Poland is probably Shem and Magda's. Ooh, wow, we Mother, have from from Las Vegas. Ooh, what happens there stays there, or so I hear. Indiana in the house. Florida. Oh, somebody said it was in the 40s in Milwaukee today. I am so sorry for that. What is it with wind shear? You mean wind chill? Wind chill, wind shear. Uh, wind chill? Yeah, it's like wind chill. <laughs> or is it wind shear? 
I'm pretty sure it's chill. It yeah. is chill. Yeah. Actually, that, 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 that's a debate I have with so many people. I'm from I'm from North Dakota in the Midwest, and oh, that's right, you're from oh, North Dakota. Oh, oh yeah, Minot. sure, you betcha. Why not North Dakota? Why not North Dakota? Don't you know? All right, we've got Brookfield, Wisconsin. Oh, we've got somebody watching from their living room in Illinois with their parents that are visiting from Poland. Oh, that's nice. People watching from New Mexico, San Diego, California. Oh, it's chilly in California. Ooh, we've moved into the Viennese Waltz. Ooh, we were talking about this dance at extensive rates last night. Yes, we were. One of the king of American smooth dances. Just this staple. It's so beautiful. I'm not sure I've ever heard this song before, but it's really, it's very soft and melodic. But it is. Um, I don't know if I've ever heard this. No, it just Jason's kind of... Jason's always got, like, Ooh. new music that no one's ever heard of. I would say this song just slowly haunts into you. Oh. Uh, Jean says it was colder with the wind chill and she put colder in capital letters. <laughs> Watching from Brownsville. Hey, I know some of those Brownsvillians. Welcome to the chat, guys. If you are watching this live stream right now and you're enjoying what you're seeing, you know what you should do? You should share it. And like it. Oh, well, you should and subscribe like and subscribe to, to channel. the channel, first of all. Mm -hmm. nice. But then you should also go on Facebook, because I'm pretty sure it's on Facebook, the link, yep. and share it and tell all of your friends to watch it. Also, hey, did you know that Mike is the eighth most common name in the US? So if your name is Mike, go ahead and like and subscribe. What? There we go. <laughs> like, where did that come from? I just thought I'd, I'd, I'd <laughs> snag an oddly specific demographic. All right, thank you, group one. Group two, please take the floor. Here we go. This, this is what's going to happen. If you are watching this channel and you are and you have not liked thank this you, video Deborah. and you are not subscribed to this channel, your favorite couple's not going to make the final. That's what's going to happen, guys. Guys, if you, if you, you, if you wanted you to make to the subscribe. final, you would subscribe and you'd share it. Oh, we got Deborah. She already shared. Thank you, Good Deborah. Good job, Deborah. Who, who are you going for? Waltz. It's going to be automatically like voodooed into the into reality. Yes. Or well, she loves the Viennese Waltz. Love with lots of O's. Ooh, a loo. Ooh, she loves we're watching it. Patrick and Haley here in the middle. Very Gorgeous. emotional beginning to their routine. I love that. And then just setting the tone. Oh, Tornillo. Time for a shot. Time for a shot. Here we go. Glug glug glug. I forgot about our drinking game. Beautiful spins across the floor. There's something so deliciously vulnerable when you get somebody who, those followers who have that ability to make that, that tight multi-spin, but with their arms in. I like those descriptive words, deliciously vulnerable. It is, it's, it's so good. You know, because we work so much on being wide and being, you know, like kind of uh, expansive and voluminous in the style of smooth. But internally, you can still have that volume, but bring it internal or bring it inside with the arm styling to create that sense of vulnerability where the arms cross the body and creates oh. a very emotional turn. We just saw another tornado on the screen. Oh, here we go. Shot time. Oop, Gatorade. <laughs> Water. Water. Hydrate. Water. Yummy. This is a really... <laughs> I know I keep, I say this every time I watch it, but I'm as I'm watching this quarterfinal, Once I'm again, like, uh, Gracie Flores, know. hello. I have no oh, idea goodness. how they're gonna pick 13 from this group. It's gonna be tough. I mean, Oof. they have to pick 13. They have no choice. They have to. Because if they don't, do not I don't know what will happen because I'm not a judge. But something, something will happen. At least one of those judges up there is standing up there with a blank paper Thank going, oh, God. I, I don't think that's <laughs> No, of course that's not the true. case. That's not the case. These are all seasoned professionals you have up there standing up there, guys. And how many judges did they bring in for these nationals? That's a massive amount, yes? A lot. I said 80 before, but it's not that many. But it's not that many? I was like, 80? There's a lot. I was like, maybe there's 80 people on the dance board. No, I think there's 40. Yeah, about oh. 40 for the whole week. And then they uh, just rotate in shifts. That's right. All that's right. week long. They're working hard to bring you those marks, I guess, swapping them out to and keep it uh, fresh. And, and you know what? I don't think people realize this. The, the uh, oh, we got Mr. Tad on the mic. 
their brand new dance mobility program. They recently rolled this out with great fanfare, pun intended. I was going to say literally, Tad. They are doing great things in the dance mobility programs throughout the world. One of our students uh, from the Winter Park studio right here in Orlando have uh, so graciously uh, going to uh, join us tonight and perform for you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jenna and Jason Scheffler. Jenna is a three-time Paralympian, gold medalist who embodies resilience, triumphing over obstacles with a mindset for success. Alongside her is Jason, her partner in life, known for his high energy persona and coaching expertise. Renowned as world-class speakers and mindset coaches, their lucky living philosophy has transformed lives, guiding individuals towards passionate and inspired futures. Today, they focus on the possibilities over the limitations, stepping over fear into opportunity. Please join us in celebrating Jana and Jason's story of resilience, expertise, and magic of transformation through dance. Fred Astaire, look out, because here they come. I'm really excited to see this. I've gotten to spend a lot of time talking to this couple over the course of the last few days, and they are so inspirational. Oh, great song choice. Oh, yeah. Classic. They've been uh, talking to me all, like I said, over the last couple of days about how nervous and excited they are to do this. Um, dancing is something that they just recently started doing and they are committed to making it a part of their um, motivational speaking that they do, um, incorporating dance with all of that. So I thought that was pretty That's beautiful. awesome that they're, you know, they're gonna be amazing representatives of our company and the amazing things that we're doing and the programs that we're putting out there for everybody. So we have good. a shout out in the chat that says, love you, Jana, from Sheila. You can just tell the absolute joy I was on both of their exactly faces right that. now. This, they are, they've got a lot of personality. I like them. This routine has Marie Kondo all over it because it brings me joy. She also told me, funny enough, she made her costume that she's wearing today, as well as the um, the cover on her uh, wheel of her wheelchair. I was gonna say, even the wheelchair is in theme. Yep. She uh, she said whoa, she wasn't whoa, whoa, sure. Oh, she just whipped out a baton. Whoa! She said yes. she had no idea what she was gonna wear, so she grabbed something and whipped it together and made something. This couple is amazing and truly inspirational. I love this so much. I know that their uh, their instructor at the Winter Park Studio is Ariana Trilogy, and you know that well she done. is proud of them right now. Well done, Ariana. They have got a standing ovation in the house. Absolutely incredible and inspirational. Pushpa said, whoa, this is amazing. This is what the world of dance is really about, guys. And Sheila, Sheila is Janet's, Janet's biggest fan, and she's talking about how amazing her story is. The best part Great is, it's not over tonight, yet. Guys. The and story's uh, not over yet. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Fred Astaire Studios, Ms. Luann Pulliam, our Executive Vice President and CEO, Stephen Knight, Executive Vice President and CEO, and along with them, Mr. Tom Hicks, Tom and Brenda Hicks, uh, have a love of dance. It means so much to them. Their entire family is now dancing. They are sponsoring our Paradance Outreach Program to help bring mobility to all. So we'd like to thank uh, Tom and Brenda Hicks for their kind patronage. Tom and Brenda Hicks are just some of the most the incredible people I think I've ever met in my life. They're great people, great programs. people. One more time, a thunderous Fred Astaire round of applause for Jenna and Jason Schaffer. 
I have the esteemed pleasure of getting to see Tom and Brenda on the circuit, but also at our regionals as they're from Cypress, Texas. Mm -hmm. I see them all about and they're just overall great people. Never without a smile on their face. Always great things to say, always supportive. This is exactly what I would expect from a wonderful couple like Tom and, and Brenda. Well, we Thank you so much for your support, guys. For the semi-final round of our Open Professional American Smooth, we invite you to stretch your legs a little bit. Mr. Uh, so a little fun fact for you, gentlemen. Um, my wife and I were certified at the same time that Ariana was in Michigan for the Paradance uh, a couple years back. Sure. I was um, surprised at how much core muscles you need because you when you get certified you have to be both um, in the chair and out of the chair like out of the chair is fine but like in the chair it's, it was really dead have you guys done it i have not yet i the last time that they were doing it i said i was gonna go and then i had some family stuff that had come yeah. up and i wasn't able to be there and i was really bummed out about it but definitely on the list of things to do it's, yes it's really interesting it is we had a we had a whole training session with some great para dancers in Houston, Texas at one of our regional seminars oh, yeah? where we all got to try it and experience that. And they guided us in the process of some of the moves that they use. And um, I believe uh, it, it, was, it was Mr. Tamerlan and his students that came to our region. Oh, and, Cheryl, uh, yeah. Yes, and they did wonderful things with us and introduced to us that the concepts and how to merge the ballroom style with, with how to understand the movement when you're in the wheelchair, how you have to guide it when you're not. And it was, a, it was a great experience. I loved it. Oh, another famous line dance. We got more participation this time than we did in the wobble. Cha-Cha Slide's a classic. My gosh, I've been doing this Cha-Cha Slide since I was in middle school, y'all. Middle school? You try try DJ, elementary school. You guys know that DJ Casper passed away, right? DJ, he passed away? Yeah, a couple months back. Oh, wow. But how's he gonna get funky? He's, he's getting funky up in heaven. Yep. He just cha cha slid up in there. That's right. St. Peter <laughs> opened the pearly gates and he was like, you can come on in. <laughs> he just. I don't know why that affected me. Maybe because I uh, hear it every weekend. At, every you know, weekend, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I was really staple. sad by that. Yeah. All right, all of you out there in the chat, we're getting ready to move into our semifinal of the smooth. Ooh. So let's see some shout outs of couples that you want to see in that semifinal. Maybe we'll manifest it for you. Let's go. Who are the 13 couples that are recalled to the semifinal of professional Open American Smooth? Hopefully it's 13. You never know. Well, they announced 13, but you do never know. That's true, because sometimes there's marks that are conflicting. That's true. And then um, sometimes they have to call back more. Sometimes they call back less, uh, just depending on, on how everything, everything plays out. That's true. But the, That's the true. plan was to call back 13. That's true. That's true. I do have to take this moment just to shout out some very good friends of mine who are multi-time national Fred Astaire Open Smooth finalists who won't be able to grace us with their presence today. Mr. Ben Seifert and Ashley Mattingly from Houston, Texas. They've been doing so much good work, but they have to be put out because of uh, an injury. But normally you would be seeing both their mixture of intense quality and surgical precision and their artistry on the floor tonight, but you're not gonna see that which is saddens us all. But that does leave a spot open for someone else to make it into this final and into these recalls. I'm interested to see who makes the cut. You're watching the 2023 National Dance Championships. National competition, the last one of the year for the Fred Astaire Dance Studios. My name is Nicholas for Dance Board Dynamics. Live stream, I'm joined by Aaron and Jandar. Whoop whoop. Hey yo. Guys are getting a little quiet in the chat. Don't fall asleep. Don't be shy. Wake up. We, we got to liven it up. We Listen, got a cha-cha slide on. How come we're on the East Coast right now. It's 9:45 at night. All y'all over on the West Coast. Y'all better are in wake some up. Time zones behind us. Y'all better it, wake up right now. It's earlier over there. Y'all better wake up. So all these people in this room that were just out there doing the cha-cha slide have probably been in this room since 8 o'clock this morning. That is true. That is non -stop, true. Non-stop, because I don't believe today we had a break. I'm looking over because my Because we student. didn't have any solos. My student over there is 80 years old, and she's been in here since 7 in the morning. She had hair and makeup at 6, and she is still going. So 
What are you guys doing? Come on, let's Actually, wake up. Speaking of people who keep it going, I have to give a little shout out to one of the studios in my region. Shout it out. Um, the Venice Studio. Oh, Venice. So um, what Enrique and his staff are doing in that studio are absolutely incredible because he's got this like you got me curious group of of little ladies that they dance from start to finish every single day at our regionals. You've probably seen them on the floor this whole week long so far, um, because of course they're here. uh, But it's what's funny is we'll our nightclub division at our regionals will go into like 10, 10 30, 11, 11 30 at night. Mm-hmm. And those little ladies are just still on the side, like they're eyes bumping. wide open. They're not even on the floor and they're over there doing salsa lines and merengue lines and so much energy. And I'm sitting up there going, like, you know what? I have no right to be tired right now. Exactly. Because I'm sitting in this chair and they've been dancing all day long. I love whenever you can create that environment in a studio. You have that culture and you can bring it out. It just becomes infectious and everybody wants it. Oh, we got another dance board member on the chat. We got Miss hey, Tommy, Tommy Travato. Ooh, how you doing? What was I'm, I'm hey, officially oh. jealous now, gentlemen. Oh, cr- I don't think Tommy has ever, if she's ever been on, she's never said hi or hearts. And I think that's because of the two of you. Well, that's because, that's uh, because you, that's you didn't have Love Muffin and Butter Biscuit here. It's true. Mm. Tommy's my favorite. Oh, your favorite. We go way, way back. back. <laughs> On your screen, we have Sasha Bylum, co-national dance director for the Fred Astaire Dance Studios. To his left, our right, we have Stephen Knight, vice president and executive dance director. Stephen Knight. And we'll stop there. Performance, baby. Oh, time to move into that semifinal. I haven't seen too many shout outs for uh, couples that you wanted to make it into that semifinal. I guess, you know, I guess you guys just don't love your couples and your teachers <laughs> as much as we do here. Guys, I'm getting verklempt. You need Sorry to show not. more love for your teachers. And if you're watching and you haven't liked and subscribed, right, well then, what, what are you, are you even doing, doing with your life? Couples have been called but what you definitely need to do is stay on and keep seven. watching because we have some very, very special things, are. very special performances happening tonight. Yeah, we do. One, six, one. Here one, six, we go. Nine, one, the seven, semi-final two, round. Two seventeen, two nineteen, two twenty-eight, two forty-eight. Oh, it's on. Two, four, five. Once again, judges, 13 couples have been Nice. Called. We've got Please some good couples seven, out there on the floor right now. Seven from 13. All right, couples. That was a strong quarterfinal. As I'm looking Your out there on the degrees. floor right now, I think there may have been, in, in, for me, yes. one or two other uh, couples that, that were in the quarterfinal here, round right. that, that I would have, that could have easily been in here or that I personally would have liked to have seen in here. I can agree with that. I can agree with that. Of course, we've got, you know, some of our uh, finalists from our Rising Star Smooth last night that are out here on the floor. Yes, representing As well, well. as um, our current open finalists. Yes. This is... Oh, I definitely don't want to overlook this comment. Someone says that my go-to in competitions is chocolate-covered coffee beans. Guys... What snack is a must Ooh. when you're competing? What keeps you going all day long? What do you have to bring to the ballroom with you? Shout out to the snacks. Bring us all your ideas. What's the, your genre? Mine? Oh, God. Darn. I love frozen grapes if I can find them or if I can freeze them myself at regionals and bring them. Frozen grapes keeps you going all day long? I, I love frozen grapes. Interesting. Love it. Mm-hmm. is wow <laughs> this semifinal right now first of all this is a really great song i would agree for a waltz it's very powerful it's not really like it's not melodic like oh, yeah. you would hear no, most th- of the time this is powerful yeah this very is a powerful strong. and our song. couples are dancing They're with a lot of power it. i am curious waltz. who this couple is over here in the white 161 i don't know if i've ever seen them before Maxim and Victoria oh, yeah. from Terrytown. Terrytown. Oh, I think they're new. New to us, anyway. They're, if 
they are sensational. I was just watching them. I know you guys couldn't see them on the screen, but I was watching them off to the side in the corner, and I was just like, Whoa. Well, wherever you've been, Terrytown, if you've been here, sorry we missed you, but we're glad you're here now. The All right, I've been getting lots of texts from people that are watching, watching at home. Put it in the chat. Put it in the chat. Put it in the chat. But shout out to Nicole Hoff. Ah. She's a student in the Fort Walton Beach studio. She has been there for, God, I'm going to get this wrong, and she'll correct me in the chat, or she'll text me and correct me. But I want to say maybe going on 17 years. Wow. She's been a student of that studio. If not 17, then pretty close to it, I feel like. Former uh, Pro-Am, Fred Astaire, and United States uh, Cabaret champion. Hats off to with, you. With many, many a partner. Ooh, red licorice. Oh, that's a good snack. Oh, AKA rhubarb ask, pie. Ask rhubarb, ask rhubarb pie about it. <laughs> there are stories. Ooh. Uh oh, it's story time. Rhubarb, hit us up. What's up with this red licorice? So, red licorice. We used to play a game for our, our dance fantasy. You guys have it, uh, you know, your stage show, whatever. Yeah. As a teacher would get ready to go on to the next, they're waiting in the wings. And they're about to go on stage. We would uh, take a red licorice and whip each other as hard as we could <laughs> as they're going <laughs> on stage. You know, every, I feel like every, I don't know uh, about you, John. Every Darby, region has like their, has like their, 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 little, ha their little haze. That's our thing. The little in un initiation. Un unfortunately, I can't say. I know what y'all's is. Yeah, you've heard me say it, but I can't say ours on the live chat. Um, All I can say is this. If any of you can answer this question, what, what's the capital of Thailand? Ah, okay. Yep. That is, and I'm just going to leave it right there. Yep. That's not what, it, what we say. It's not Taipei. <laughs> that's not the correct answer. <laughs> it's not Taipei. Taipei. <laughs> oh, let's change the set. Reese's Cups. <laughs> oh, yes. I, I Dr. Love Mark likes some Reese's, Reese's Cups. Cups. Peanut butter is lovely. <laughs> good, good segue. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Mark. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Mark. Oh, we got a shout out for Oleg and Karina. Oh, they said their tango is so sharp. They're doing wonderfully tonight. They did insanely well in the Rising Star Divisions last night. We're enjoying them tonight as well. Um, how did they? I can't remember off the top of my head. How did they place last night in the Rising Star? Does anybody remember? Oh, I know. Four, I know it was for four? sure in the top. Was it? I thought it was maybe top three. Was it? Was it either fourth or third? I, forgive us, Oleg and Karina, for not remembering you're exactly. You're both your place, incredible. But we you're love doing you. Wonderfully. But I've slept since then, and I can't remember. Oh, Jean says rhubarb could be kind of sassy. We like him that way. Oh, I see another tornado on the floor. Shot, Shot time. time! Agua. That's some high quality H2O. <laughs> Forgot about that. I'm definitely a Sandler fan. Fan of the Sandman. Please name the couples by uh, numbers. I feel like we do that as it gets closer to the Viennese Waltz usually. Ooh. Well, I did the entire list before we started. Oh. Well, Right. With you might numbers. have to scroll back in the uh, in the video because our list we have in front of us is all the couples from the uh, from the quarterfinal. So uh, some of those couples are unfortunately Correct. not on the floor with us and right it, now. And if we if we were a little too excited right. while we were announcing those numbers, we'll be sure to be a little a little more streamlined when we get that final result in. You'll hear all those numbers crisp and clear. Listen. It's really hard to contain Jondar. That's I'm doing so my best. true. I'm doing my best out there, y'all. Oh. It's really hard to rein him in. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Yeah. He's trying to rein me in. All right, we're moving into our fourth dance, the Viennese Waltz. Viennese Let's waltz. hear some shout outs out there. Only six of these couples are going to be recalled to the final. What six couples do you want? Or what couple do you want to see? Is this a six couple final or a seven couple final? I was not listening. You know what? It's going to be so six or seven couples. <laughs> it's <laughs> either six listening. or seven. <laughs> uh, Guys, we're doing a great job up here. We're, we're, we're really on top of it. Yeah, clearly. I really love this. Uh, um, in the middle of the floor, couple 169. They've got this beautiful wine and gold. They've, Lovely color on the floor. They've been catching my attention. 
I'm seeing a lot of uh, couples that are out there on the floor tonight showcasing uh, new looks that I haven't seen them in before. This couple, 155, they are Evgeny and Olga from Philadelphia. I've never quite seen her in something this different before. I feel like I've seen her in a lot of classic looks. And this yes. is definitely something very different with the uh, it's very what looks striking. like black velvet with these really, really beautiful red appliques that are, you know, a really good she punch looks of like color. A they are superhero. Yeah, it really could be Scarlet Witch. Oh, Scarlet Witch vibes. Yeah. I was, I was, like I was gonna, I was gonna say like some sort of beautiful Mortal Kombat character. Yeah. It's cool. Oh, Laurie says we're doing a great job. Thank you, Laurie. Gosh, thank, thank you, we're, Laurie. We're just, you know, we're just going a, by we're the skin of our teeth up here. here. Just a couple of guys doing the best we can. We're just making it up as we go along. Making it up as we go. All right. That was the semifinal of our American Smooth. Our judges have been excused. Our couples are leaving the floor. Like, get out of here. Go get some water and get towel off here. all that sweat. Get out of here. We don't want to see you whip and that sweat in a circle. Once again, we have a very special presentation. Oh, oh it's here's time. Here's that moment we were talking about earlier, guys. We brought you a present. Here it is. Couples who decide that it's time for them to retire from competitive dancing. Tonight is one of those nights. This couple has represented themselves, their students, studio, region, and Fred Astaire Dance Studios worldwide with honor, dignity, and grace as they've traveled throughout the world and here in the U.S. representing Fred Astaire Studios in the open professional international Latin. They have given me a letter to read to you tonight as they get ready to perform for you one more time. Ladies and gentlemen, Tonight is a very special day for us, one that fills us with both joy and a touch of sadness. We are here to announce the conclusion of our dance career. This journey has been an incredible one, filled with passion, dedication, and unforgettable moments. What makes this moment even more special for us is the fact that our parents, who have been our unwavering support throughout this journey and are far away and not here. Their absence tonight reminds us of the sacrifices that they have made and the love they have shown us even from a distance. Thank you for believing in us, for encouraging our dreams, and for always being there in spirit, even when you couldn't be here physically. Your love and support has been the wind beneath our wings. We also want to express our deepest gratitude to our regional owners, Mr. Stephen Knight and Mr. John Gates, and to all of our coaches, Ilya Fremont, Stephen Knight, Tony Dovolani, Anna Kovalova, Edward Apollo. Your guidance, patience, and expertise have shaped us into the dancers we are today. You push us to reach new heights and instill in us a love for this art form that will never fade. Of course, our biggest thank you goes to our main supporter, Mr. Haik Arshakian. You are a big part of our dance and business journey. We would like to extend our heartfelt thanks to our sponsors as well. Your support and creativity have allowed us to pursue our passions with unwavering focus. As we step away from the dance floor, we carry with us a heart full of cherished memories, the love of our families, and the wisdom inspired by our coaches. While this chapter of our life may be closing, a new one is beginning, and I look forward to exploring the possibilities that lie ahead. To everyone who has been a part of our dance journey, thank you. Thank you for being a part of this beautiful story. Your presence, your support, and your belief in us have been the greatest gifts. We may be concluding our dance career, but the music and the memories will continue to dance in our souls. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Vlad and Nastia. Ladies and gentlemen, bring your hands together. Vladislav Vavinko and Anastasia Gerkov. We're in for a bittersweet treat.
This has always been one of my favorite couples to watch. I agree. Like you said, it's bittersweet. It's really sad to um, see them come off the floor because they've been incredible representatives for our company in the International Latin. Um, but I know that they, uh, they're they moving forward into new adventures in life and in the business. So uh, we wish them all the best of luck as they, they move forward into a different part of their career. That's true. And that decision, that decision to make that is, is so incredibly difficult. And especially when you look at them now, you would think they're in, they're at the top of their game. They're in top form. joined us in the chat. We haven't seen her in such a long time. I won't tell you everything she just said, but she's she said, mmm. She's got some legs on her. Damn. Rumba, I'm so glad that they chose Rumba to do their retirement dance to. For me, out of all five dances, this was always one of the ones that I loved watching them dance. I could never take my eyes off of them during the rumba. I love this look she's gone for tonight, too. I agree. Very classy, very soft. I feel like we're used to seeing her with, like, long, 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 long hair, yes. ponytails, and she's got this kind of Marilyn Monroe vibe going tonight in this beautiful white dress. Something that I love, I mean, and you can even tell this on, on, the, on the screen here, they're definitely not phoning this in. They are dancing with all of their hearts, with all of their expertise and their years of experience and partnering together. It's a spellbinding performance tonight. Now they're uh, a part of your region, uh, Plant. That's do correct. You, do you know how long have they been dancing together? Were they dancing together before they joined us in our company? You know, I don't know that. Um, I don't know that. Well, it looks like they've been dancing together their whole lives. Or at least a very long time. And for those of you that dance and want to dance or are currently studying dance, or even if you've never danced, what you're seeing right now, even when you're on a ballroom floor that's crowded with 23, 24 other couples on it, this is the feeling you're looking to create. It's just you and your partner. It's you and your own world. And Vlad, to me, has always been in any style he's danced, whether it's been with his professional partner. Even his students. But even with his students, yes. the most like connected, the most emotional partner Agreed. that was beautiful great performance wonderful send off beautiful. congratulations you two we're getting a standing ovation in the room for them right now as they should well deserved and, uh, sad to see you guys see leave the floor love. but congratulations and on uh, your amazing career that you've had and uh, wishing you all the most amazing things as you move forward in the business. Oh, here, here we, we go. go. They're traditional. Oh. The traditional man toss. Oh, somebody runs out late the last second. Like, look, I helped. <laughs> <laughs> At least they got him up there. It's because they had Zach. Oh, yeah. Your current Zach's the one doing all the work. Your current uh, cabaret <laughs> champion in there just decided to, to lift the whole guy himself. He's like, I got this, guys. I don't need your help. Listen, Annalise, I don't know if we would look quite like that, but we give it our best shot. Give it our best shot. Do it. Do it. That's what I say. Annalise, do it. This is a couple that has, you know, a big team behind them, a lot of supporters, and 
you can see that right now. Their you know what I coaches, actually, oh, their yes. students mm. are even up presenting them with flowers, all their friends. Something I really appreciated that you don't often see in a retirement yeah, dance is they one named one by name very That's specific so people that help them on their journey. Oh, a lot yeah. of those people are here tonight, and it makes you realize this take, it takes a village to create a champion. It really does. Or even if you're not a champion in, 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 in you, you could say, in, uh, in a ward, but a champion in stature or in quality, it takes so many people behind you to make that happen. That's true. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe they have won our national Latin title, I think at least once. At least once. Yeah. So they are, you know, they are for sure champions. They've won it uh, champions at a couple me? of different of our national events, but they are also Fred Astaire International Latin National Champions as well. Wish them all the best. We are getting ready to move into our final round of our Open American Smooth. Here we go. Bring it back on the judges. I recall our couples from the stage. Judges, seven couples have been called. They've recalled seven couples. And they are. Couple 155, you get me, and Olga. Couple 172, Harrington and Anastasia. Couple 208, Ole and Camarina. Couple 217, Vasily and Irina. Couple 219, Dimitro and Ali. Couple 243, Sergey and E. Catalina. And couple 245, Ivan and Valeria. Yvonne and Valeria are one of my favorite couples right now. For sure. Love them. Um, you know how you were saying that there was a there was an opening tonight in the yeah. American Smooth Final? I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is the first it. time that Oleg and Karina, they've only been, like I said, with Fred Astaire one year. One year. And only doing smooth since maybe either February or March. And here they are already and our Open Smooth finalists. Ooh. They're uh, International Latin Open That's finalists, correct. but here they are joining the ranks of some of the top smooth couples in our company. And I'd like to take this opportunity, especially to point out that quality matters, guys. I mean that good dancing is good dancing, whether you're learning it in International Latin or in American Style Rhythm or Standard Ballroom or in American Smooth. If you understand how to use the body mechanics, it works. 100%. You're watching Ali and Dima in the middle of the floor there in the white and gold, our rising star champions last night. And I believe as of last night, they have now won all three of our national rising star titles. So that means they have uh, graciously now phased out of the Rising Star Division um, in Fred Astaire. So that now leaves in right. our uh, CCDC event, which is in New Orleans. It's going to be New year. Orleans next year. That's that, right. It's um, going to be an opening for a new Rising is, Star champion. That is for right. The smooth Division. So uh, all of our uh, Rising Star Smooth couples that are out there, oh, let's. We, we've got uh, a little bit of an accident on the floor, but they're they're recovering well. Just like a couple of lovebirds, Ivan and Valeria, great recovery there. You know, it happens. There have been many a times when I've ended up on my butt on the floor before. Oh, definitely. And you just, you instinctually just do something in the, in the moment to be like, oh, I meant to do that. You keep it rolling. And what they did was they, um, they ended up on the floor and they took that moment and just like looked at each other I know, I and created that. a connection. The I wonder if maybe something must happened go to you. On. The show must go on. Taking me out. You know, for all of you, uh, you students that are out there, and you know, sometimes you may 
trip on the floor, have a little accident, and you feel like, oh no, the world has ended, guess what? It happens to us too. It happens to us. It happens happens all the time. to us actually more than you think it might. It does. Like it's, next year, someone's gonna go. Oh my God! Do you remember when Ivan Valeria sat on the floor? What that moment was incredible. What great choreography! I would never think to do that. <laughs> oh, we've got Harriton and Anastasia, our current Open Smooth champions, in this beautiful. Uh, pastel baby pink with all these uh, three-dimensional flower appliques on it and it looks like all the flowers themselves are actually covered in rhinestones and the dress itself is just this nice light chiffon. It's very which soft. Which brings me to our, you know, ongoing competition. We need shout outs out there. What's your favorite dress on the floor? Say yes to the dress. Which one is it? What's your favorite dress tonight? Put it in the chat and let us know. We've got Oleg and Karina in this black to white ombre. Uh, Sergey and Ekaterina moving across the floor in this nude and turquoise. Ivan and Valeria. I can't quite tell what color this is. It's either like a light gold, maybe a champagne color. It's really pretty. It's actually really striking, the color on the floor. Evgeny and Olga, she's still wearing that, that black with the red. She chose not to change for the final. But you know what? I don't, I don't hate it. I la it's kind of cool that she did it because it, it now, be that, very strong now that choice. Plant said Scarlet Witch, that's all I can see now, and I really like it. We've got lots of shout outs in the chat for Oleg and Karina. First time making it to the American Smooth Final. Congratulations, guys. Baby Pink, someone's in the Baby Pink. Oh, mm -hmm. Baby Pink, that would be uh, Harriton and Nastia. Indeed, Ivan Valeria, shout out. Whoop, whoop. Third Karina's ombre dress is super classy. And uh, Oleg. the chat says Oleg's looking pretty sharp he himself. He is looking pretty sharp. He's like a tall drink of water. A tall drink of water. Oh, Sharon says she likes the black and red. All right, so we've got pretty much every dress called out right now. Um, Irene and Vasily still have that black with the marabou feathers. Yes. Which I'm glad she didn't change. I'm if for she it. did, I would have wanted her to change into the same dress, exact same dress. But a different color. Different color, maybe. Agreed. But it's, she didn't need to. It's doing everything for her. Yeah. It's doing everything it needs to do. It's giving. Um, different shapes to the body, which is great. And she's got a great back. It shows that off wonderfully. You're watching a few of our couples out on the floor right now. Harrison and Nastia there in the middle. And Irina and Vasily. I feel like I said the same thing that I'm about to say last night. Hit me. Uh, we're already on the Fox drop. <laughs> you did say this whole round just went by so exactly. fast. Like, oh my! Where did it go? Where did the whole round go? Well, last night I got confused right. and forgot that the semifinal even happened. He's like, "Wait, what?" I was like, "Oh, we're already there. We're at the final." It's here we are. Here we are. Make this sure you third dance of four. That's right. Make sure you stay tuned after the next dance, the Viennese Waltz, because we have a lot more dancing coming up Strong. after our final round here of the American Smooth. Bring us some we're going to be moving you. into our open cabaret division. Oh, one That's of my favorite be a divisions. Great one. Yeah. If you've never seen the cabaret division before, stick around. Stick around. You're going to see some great representations of that style tonight. Always sharpen the bow tie. He always has that signature bow tie that's yep. a little bigger. I like that. It's a strong choice. This is such a different look for her. I think I'm so used to her looking um, 
like oh, having a very classy looking dress. Yes. So to see Irina in something that's a little bit more edgy, a little sexy, I really like it. Just want to give a little underrated shout out to potential lessons out there. Uh, for those of you that are students or budding professionals, rehearse your bows, kids. Oh, for sure. Or rehearse your bows. And if you don't know how to rehearse your bow, find someone. find someone that can help you. There's nothing more like, ooh. There's nothing that can tank a good performance like an unrehearsed bow. And then you go like, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh. Cringe. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I have to agree with you. None of those type of bows here tonight, though. No, not at all. Here we are. Okay, it's open American the smooth Beanie's, Beanie's waltz. waltz. You know this music is about to be, ooh, not it like super emotional song. Correct me, Mr. Jason. Ooh. But you've got a powerful song, which all of these couples that are out here on the floor right now are about to really give it to us. Let's let loose. Take off the training wheels and take us for a ride. I like that. That was good. One of my uh, favorite couples in the Viennese Waltz is uh, Ivan and Valeria. I love when uh, they do a little do -si do action around each other, and she opens up, and he does this super high rondé. You don't see uh, many guys out there with the flexibility to be able to really whack the leg up in the air like that. That's true. And not have um, either a sick foot or a bent knee. And, um, you know, he's definitely got the flexibility in his body. And it's just it's always one of my favorite moments. They also have a really cool moment in their tango where they do something and then she just drops down into the split and he pulls her straight back up by her wrist. So cool. Ooh. If you, ha if you didn't get to see that, rewind back and maybe you'll get to see a clip of it. I'm not sure if we had the, the cameras panning on them in that moment, but um, it's really cool. This is a really, really good final round tonight. Strong final. My favorite is Valeria's dress. Oh, Valeria's dress. Yep, that, that was my favorite. That champagne. Yeah. I think the, the fabric that it's made out of just catches all the lighting around it and creates a wonderful aura around her. Let's see. I'm looking out there right now because they're all still there. What's weird is I like different things about each of them. I agree. This might be one of the few times that I don't know if I can pick a favorite. Yeah, it's hard. As far as their costumes because they all had... They really, all have, they all really have a good look. elements yes, to them. They're all organized extremely well. Like nothing's just put together. They all look like this is exactly what I meant to do. Six different finalists, or was it seven? I don't remember. It was a seven couple final this time. Whatever number it was. It was a seven couple final. They all had a very distinct, different look. Nobody had any costume, hair, makeup, anything like that where you where you looked out and you're like, oh, that kind of looks like same, same in a different color maybe. Right. No, it was no. all completely different across no the board. No copycats out there. Every single one of those finalists 100% belonged there. Oh, we have we have Miss Tara in front of us. Uh, kind of showing off in front of our what, table What is she right wearing? Now. We don't oh. know. Something fabulous, Guys, we can tell I'm you sure. it's going to be great. Just wait for the open rhythm divisions. She joined us uh, last time in Vegas on our, I believe it was maybe Rising Star Night in the in the live chat. Um, you know, because if you're if you're subscribed to this channel, which and if you're not, you're doing something wrong with your life. That's right. Uh, but if you're subscribed to this channel, you can go back and watch videos from previous competitions. So yep, they don't disappear. Out. They stay there forever. Forever and ever and ever. That's so go back and check those out. Forever and ever. So you guys were mentioning our MC, Jim Carter. There he is. Jimmy Carter. There he is. Oh, Get a zoom in on that. Look on that at mug. that sexy man. Look at. Oh my. He's so uh, distinguished. Look at that bow uh, tie. Ooh, I'm surprised we didn't see him in his David Pumpkins outfit this Halloween. <laughs> I'm David S. Pumpkins. And I'm Mr. Here. Tad Joy sitting next to him to scare the pants off of you. What are you talking about? David S. Pumpkins? I have Tom no Hanks. idea. Listen, if anybody in the chat knows David S. Pumpkins, sh give us a like, okay? It, it, it's worth it. And if you don't know, look it up. It's Saturday Night Live sketch. 
with I'm Tom definitely Hanks. gonna have to look it up <laughs> with Tom Hanks. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Kind of randomly, actually, if I remember. Indeed, quite Our randomly. All right, moving into our cabaret. It looks like we have a two-couple final in our cabaret tonight. That's unusual. I feel like yeah, usually, usually we like have, what? Five. Yeah, I'll say four. I, I always feel like four is always a good number, sometimes five. Mm-hmm. But to have two couples tonight, that makes me wonder, hmm, where's where, everybody else? Where are the cabaret people at? Where'd they go? I know last year we had uh, one of our former cabaret champions, uh, uh, Cliff and Mar. They retired. Retired. And beautiful couple. Yes, absolutely beautiful. All right, from Northport, we've got Andre and Celeste coming out onto the floor. Why don't I recognize them? So this is a new partnership. I actually know them both very, very well. They've only been dancing together for, mm, I want to say maybe two, three months. So Celeste is a uh, former... uh, principal ballet dancer in uh, Lima, Peru, and she uh, just recently joined us here in this country and is part of the uh, team over in Lakewood Ranch. Well, welcome to the team, Celeste. Yes, welcome to the family, and Andre, of course, we've seen him for for a long time. He was a competitor for a while in the Rising Star Rhythm and has yes. now found this wonderful partner to uh, move forward into the uh, into the cabaret division, which I know he's really, really enjoying. He's a good friend of mine, so we uh, we talk probably at least once a week, if not two or three times a week. I mean, from the looks of it, it seems like they found their chosen style together. This is a great couple here. Oh, for sure. And I have had the privilege of seeing them dance together now three times. And so far, this is absolutely incredible. I remember the first time they performed this routine and they were both so nervous and uh, now they look so confident, so cool, so collected and together as well. Their choice of costume is absolutely fabulous for this song. I believe uh, Andre made his partner's dress. If he didn't make it, I know for sure he stoned the dress himself. Uh, But I think he may have also made it. I'm I'm just not 100% positive on that. Wonderful job, Andre. She looks amazing. Let's hear some shout-outs in the chat for Andre and Celeste. Deborah says she's stunning, gorgeous dance. Stunning, gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Such a classic song, too. Classic song, great routine, good feeling. What a wonderful new couple. I'm really excited, again, with both of them being great friends of mine, I'm really excited to see, first of all, I have to interrupt myself, because her flexibility is insane. Like, that leg was just up there. But I'm really excited to see... um, where their future is going to go. This is their first time doing this routine at our Fred Astaire national event, and they have a extremely bright future ahead of them. I can tell. I can tell. Well done. That was uh, practically, in, I mean, in my opinion, practically a flawless run of that routine. That was great. I've never seen it before, but it looked wonderful. Like, Would you coming say it was up, practically perfect in every way? Practically perfect, perfect in, in every way. way. There we go. With a little spoonful of sugar. Ooh, a spoonful of sugar. And now we're welcoming to the floor our current reigning open cabaret champions, Zachary and Ariel from Pewaukee, Wisconsin. That's right. And not just the open cabaret champions. They have also won our, like, champion of champions. Well, our grand championships, Our grand yes. championships. So these are... Wonderful, Fred Astaire. Ariel is sporting a brand new look as far as her hair. She uh, recently uh, chopped it all off and took it to this uh, reddish brown color. Yes. Uh, you might remember she was uh, pretty much a platinum blonde before. That's right. And um, has decided to try something new. And I really like it. I do too. I do really appreciate also. Zach's hair. He has he, he's changed from a bit of his, his slick, smooth look to something that's a little, I don't know if it's freer. It's got a bit more volume, 
Is yeah, something? so he told me they've been taking a, a little flat iron and giving his hair like a little flip and a little curl just to give it a different texture, a different look. He's doing good things. The silhouette is great. But also, yeah, I, I know it. for a fact, I mean, if you guys don't follow them on social media, you'll see them often. That's 3 a.m. in the gym. Or 3 a.m. in this ballroom. Or 3 ballroom, a.m. in the ballroom. After dancing with students all day long. After rehearsing after, the pro show. You know, say after pro show rehearsal, they will stay in this ballroom until 3, 4, 4.30 in the morning and just practice, 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 yes. get a feel for each other, get a feel for the floor, for the room, and then get up a couple hours later and do it all over That's again. Right. For sure. What you are seeing in front of your eyes, folks, is just the, 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 the benefit Absolute of... Absolute dedication. Of, it is. Dedication and just hours of this, putting in the time. They don't cut corners. They put in the time. They care about the quality, and they really, really, they're very diligent and disciplined about it. Sometimes to get the results you want, you have to do the boring things, which is just get up, do it again, eat the right things, keep that diet, get to the gym, and make sure they just hone your craft. And something I also appreciate about them is they have a very strong team behind them. You know, like you said earlier, it takes a village. That's true. And Oh, that's they a staple have, move. Yes, that's one of their signature moves, that roll up his body. Um, they have had a team with them since day one and they have stayed consistent with that team which i think is really important is having consistency behind you and you know you know every once in a while it's okay to get somebody else's opinion and um take on your dancing but to always go back to that core group of people who have been there for you supported you and have always had your back and know your goals and your what want what's the best for you They've, they've done a really good job of keeping that, that really core team at heart. I, I like what you said. That's actually extremely important when you're searching for, um, for people to guide you on your journey. You know, It can seem like, because there's so many wonderful dancers in the world of ballroom dancing, sometimes it's, it's very easy to let everybody's opinion matter to you. And I really think if you always come back, like you said, to that core group, if you have between three to five coaches, just a handful of people that you constantly come back to that are there to guide you, to really tell you what's what, to be honest with you, that you can constantly trust. You, you, you need that, you need that in your corner. Let's go to the chat for a second. We've got lots of shout outs for Andre and Celeste, talking about how incredible it is that they've only been dancing together for a, a short time. And, um, you know, Miss Tommy Travato there, echoing everything that you're saying, hard work pays off. That it does. You know, practice does not make perfect, believe it or not, but practice does make permanent. I like that. Because I had a coach tell me that one time. They were like, you practice does not make perfect because you can practice the same thing incorrectly a hundred times. That's and very true. And it makes true. it permanent. It doesn't make it perfect. That's very true. So if you're not practicing the correct oh, things, ooh. then... Um, you 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 permanently put in the wrong things into your muscle memory. That's right. Oh, we have a standing ovation here for Zachary and Ariel. That's right. Beautifully Especially done. over there on the uh, the left side of the floor, we've got all the Wisconsin people over there, and uh, they're really on their feet for Zach and Ariel. Indeed. They also have this signature move where he lifts her and carries her off, swir swirls her around the floor. <laughs> You know, there's something really nice to be said, not just about what they put into the practice, because someone told me once that the only way to get good at doing push-ups is doing push-ups. So, like, they are steadfast competitors. They're not just good at the dancing, because practicing and doing the skill in the ballroom is one thing, but performing in front of hundreds of people is another thing. That's true. And they have put in the man hours. They travel all over the place, all over the country, all over the world, multinational places, to go and perform, and they have a wealth of experience that other couples in this division simply don't have. They've really put in the time to put their dance on the floor in front of thousands of people. You know who has probably seen them dance more than anybody else? Tell me. Mr. Nicholas Plant over here. That's most likely true. Because he's yeah. always in the ballroom before everybody, after everybody, he's probably like, hey while they're still in here practicing. That's they, right. They have been one of my favorite couples to watch as they progressed. And they have had quite a journey, because I remember when they first joined the company mm. and that, that first routine they had, um, 
And then, you know what was one of my favorite routines they had? I don't remember the name of the song, but she had that orange. Tangerine Honey. Yes, Tangerine Honey, that orange unitard. Tangerine Honey. It was just honey. so different than what anybody else was doing in the cabaret. That was that definitely time. a staple routine for them. Yeah. They she came out and boom, just bright in your face. They've always got, their, their costuming always makes a statement. Cause, uh, Agreed. Their last routine before this one. They had the ombre costume with the big wings on it. Yeah. I was always so afraid. I'm like, somebody's going to get tangled and choked. But never happened. It never <laughs> never at happened. At, at, at least, least not at least in not front a of performance. <laughs> well, Plant might be able to say oh. differently. He's like, I saw a couple practices where... Uh, <laughs> got Mr. John Ferris in the chat. Fellow cabaret man himself. Uh, oh. Giving everybody in the uh, cabaret division a shout out with all their... Fabulous transitions. And you know what? I agree with that. Sometimes like the transitions that. are more important than the lifts themselves. Agree. Because you could have a fabulous lift, but if you look like a hot mess getting in and out of yep. it. Yeah, how you get in and get it out. You got to hide the transitions yep. or blend them beautifully. There's a skill to that and a strength. Here we go, guys. Into our next pro heat, the Open International Ballroom. All right. Five couples. I've ever seen them dance standard. I've always seen them in the line. You give me an Olga from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. All right, judges. We have five competitors. Please place all five. This is Pro Heat number 12, our Open International Ballroom. Your first dance. It's interesting to me that all of these couples have chosen their starting position in the middle of the floor. And they're all positioned themselves to basically, they look like kind of like a big circle. And then they're all moving outward into their each own uh, diagonal alignment. For a second, I thought this was going to be a formation. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, oh, wow. We have our two uh, returning finalists from the Rising Star Division last night with the addition of three additional couples. We have over on the left side of the floor our current uh, international ballroom champions. That's Maxim and Paulina from North Scottsdale. The couple you're seeing in the white right now, if I can see his number. Oh. 109. Something or is, is that some, 190? Looks like something's happened. We have a bit of a walk off. Oh no. Oh no. Our gentleman, 155, looks like he's, uh, he might be limping. We've had one couple uh, bow out of the of our no. international ballroom. So now we're down to four finalists. And I'm not sure if I have a misprint on my sheet, but a uh, couple 109. Oh, on mine it says, am I on the wrong page? No, I think I have a misprint. Or I don't have them on my page. Yeah, so. 109 is Mihailio Anufriev and yes. Anna. Petrinska. Yeah, and that's a uh, and couple 155, five, Evgeny and Olga, looks like they'll be taking themselves out of this final. Well, that's too bad. They were the, the couple that had the, uh, the black velvet dress in, with the red in the smooth. Yes. So maybe something possibly happened earlier on in an earlier event, and they thought maybe, you know, let's, let's, let's try it. Let's see try it. Get it. Yep. Right. And you start moving and you just go. Nope. You know, at some point you have to know what your body can and can't do. I understand and that. And as dancers, a lot of times we, we push ourselves. And sometimes we push ourselves too hard, yes. which can cause more issues than the current issue that you're even dealing with. And 
to take that moment to say, you know what, I, I don't want to cause further problem, further injury and risk. Yes. You know, if, if especially if he might, I don't, I'm not sure, but if he's dancing program with students tomorrow, then you know he had to make that decision. Like, am I, am I going to risk not being able to be there, be yes. there for my students tomorrow, for this moment? And yes. I, I absolutely respect them for for having for taking that moment for themselves. Yes, folks, that's a decision that's terrible. It's terrible to make, to have to make it, very difficult to do. I'm actually kind of been faced with some of that recently myself. In my own partnership, and you know, just the fact of the matter is, it's it's uh, at the end of the day, it's your career. You know, it's one competition versus the rest of your life. You know, and sometimes if you push it too hard, you don't know what could happen. It's not worth the risk. Play it safe. Play it safe, guys. But even still, we're left with four fabulous finalists. Indeed, we have a lot of we have some pink. Yeah, we've got two pink. A white, and it looks like a like a gold lame almost. She kind of looks like an Oscar. Ooh, <laughs> an Oscar. So let's let's play. Uh, who's your favorite dress? We've got, the, got the gold, dress. the nude and white with the feathers. We've got pink with feathers, and then pink with feathers. Pink with feathers, <laughs> but with a dash of black injected mm -hmm. onto the dress. You know, as we mentioned uh, last night. The International Ballroom is one of those dances where the judges really, it's the easiest, in my opinion, to compare all the couples. Because like, like we said last night, there's like, what, four, three or four elements, and they're all gonna do the same elements, but maybe in a different order, in a different pattern, but they all have to do the same thing. The choreography is not, what I would say, creative in any way that this is really the dance where the judges can really look at everybody's top lines, the way that they're moving, their swing and sway through the body, um, footwork, and uh, partnership. I'm glad you said that because, you know, a lot of people, okay, I guess I can't say a lot of people. There have been some, the one I'm talking about standard, or even some students, but even other professionals, they kind of view standard Viennese waltz almost as a throwaway dance. You know, I've run into that as well with uh, with students that are like, oh, this dance, like, um, you know, oh, I don't, if I'm dancing ballroom, I can, you know, I can cut out a couple of my Viennese waltzes because that'll give me a breather moment in between. Right. But, you know, like I was just saying, the, the Viennese waltz is one of the most important dances in the ballroom be for that very reason that that's... You know, it's not about your choreography no. or, you know, your um, picture moments. Yeah. It's really everyone being compared. It's true. It's, it's kind of like our, 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 our closed divisions. divisions I, was just, I was just going to say, it's, it's, compared it's, to each other it's like forcing a closed division into the middle of an open division mm -hmm. to say, okay, you've seen all this fancy stuff, but now just strip, now just strip down to the dancing. bones. What do you see? Like, how's the footwork? How's the control? Right? <laughs> Oh, we've got a couple dress shout outs. We've got a couple 190s dress. Which couple is couple 190? That's a couple 190. Oleski you've got them Ola coming across the Brewster. floor right now. I believe that's the pink. Oh, yes. Yeah, it, well, it, it, it's the, the, the pink pink. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> just the pink pink. Just the pink pink. We've got the gold dress really stands out. We've got 288. This dress is a fire. Fire. From Deborah, that's also the same couple, uh, Danilo and Anastasia from North Scottsdale. This dress is on fire. <laughs> All right, Jean. So you've got. You said you like the uh, pink dress with the feather top. You have two dresses out there with the pink feather top. Do you like the one with just the pink, or the one with a little bit of black speckled out throughout it? I feel like it kind of, I like that one personally, not to be uh, biased in any way, <laughs> but uh, it kind of breaks it up a little bit. <laughs> and you can see more of the shape of her body. Yes. In it because of the, the colored stones and whatnot, in my opinion. But I think a close second for me is, uh, is definitely the gold. Just because it's so different than anything else that's on the floor.
Ta-da. From Scottsdale, Arizona, couple two, three, four, Maxim and Polina. And from Scottsdale, Arizona, couple two, eight, eight, Denimo and Anacasia. introduction of our couples. I gotta give a quick shout out in the chat really quick to Pushpa, because I love what she just said when we were talking about uh, practice earlier. It says repetition is the skill to perfection. Oh. That's great, Pushpa. I really, really love that. Well done, well done, Pushpa. The quick step. Oh, we've got Teresa saying white dress for the winners. John Ferris, it's the pink and black and for look him. Look at this, blitzing across the floor, I was not say, wasting they, any of the music. They just took, that's one of the things I love about uh, Max and Paulina, is that in their quick step, it's like connect and go right away. They are making laps. Good luck catching this couple. Well, and Max and Paulina <coughs> are actually, um, if I'm not mistaken, which I'm pretty sure I'm not, are not only our Fred Astaire International Standard Champions, but they are also US Open finalists. So they are within the top six or seven couples of the entire US not just in the, the international Astaire ballroom. Company, but wow. We're getting a treat tonight. Yeah, I love watching them dance because they both uh, add so much personality to their dancing. It's not just about, you know, hop, skip, and a jump across the floor. You can really tell that they're having a lot of fun while they're doing it, too. I'm glad you said that because, for me, when you're watching the standard ballroom, if you're watching a very high-level couple, you're able to see the nuance of personality in those movements. And so often, especially when compared against a style that's as, a, as broad as American-style smooth, where the expression is almost designed into the style, you might find it difficult to find uh, expression in the standard, but when you're really dancing at this level, it's there. You, you can't help but notice. That was our international ballroom final. Tell us what you thought out there. You guys in the chat are getting a little quiet. We need your opinions inside the chat. Or if you have any wonderful questions for rhubarb pie or butter biscuits. Oh, that's right. Or love muffin. If you have yeah. any questions you want us to answer about competing or the ballroom world in general or whatever you like, just, feel free to yeah, shout just, it out. Just, just put let it in the us chat. know. And guess what? We we'll will make up an answer. We're going to make it you up right now. You never know if we're going to give you the right one or not. You might have to go Google us afterwards and find out. We'll say something for sure. We'll say something. Because we have to keep this rolling, folks. We are getting ready to move into the quarterfinal round of our Open American Rhythm. Ooh, this is going to be an go. exciting night tonight. This is a battle, guys. Here we go. Because we are crowning a new, new champion tonight. Fred Astaire Open American Rhythm champion tonight. And they're... All of these couples that are out there know that that, uh, that title is open and available, and they are going, it is going to be a bloodbath tonight. I'm it excited is. to watch this. Ooh, just bang my knee on the table, y'all. I got so excited. This is a great cha-cha, too. Agreed. See a lot of really cool, interesting costumes out there on the floor. In the middle of the floor right now, you're watching Emilio and Lucero. Emilio and Lucero, that's right, from Lake Houston. In that Houston, Texas. bright neon. That She's got highlighter that headband. Yellow. Oh, we know this channel loves Ernie. There's Ernie and Caroline. Here we go. Moving across the floor. That was a jam-packed all on. Okay. I wasn't even paying attention. I didn't even realize. See, guys, I just get so wrapped up Listen, in the dancing. Already I was like, was that heat one? This dress, dress that, that couple 200, Shem and Magda, this dress that she's wearing is like, like, it's like really a circus. Cool. I, it's drawing my attention immediately. You know, last time when I did this in Vegas right. during the rhythm, Magda's dress was my favorite. Uh -huh. Like I called them out right away. She had that, that nude bodysuit with the gold straps across it and my jaw was on the floor. Here we go with our heat one. We've got we've got Emmanuel and Olga from uh, from Texas, from the Woodlands and Champions in Houston, Texas. 
Working in the corner. This couple in the pink, I am not 100% sure if I know their names. I know I said that last night as well. That's I Denise love their and dancing. Anastasia Karasova. Oh, yes, 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 from yes. From Awatuki. I love their dancing. And they're dancing nine dance. They are. They, we just saw them in the smooth. She had the wine, the wine colored dress. That's correct. Not that she had the wine, y'all. She had a wine colored dress. A wine colored dress. Let's get it right, Aaron. Come on, get it together. Come on now. Oh, Lori just asked a great question. She said, do the judges give comments too on the dancer's score sheets? Ooh, no, no they, they do don't. Not. Um, the only comments you're going to be seeing at a national event like this is uh, for our Pro-Am divisions in the Solo Showcases and Novelty divisions. Correct. On those um, divisions for Pro-Am, uh, the judges do write comments down, constructive things, and things that they loved about your personal handcrafted uh, showcase routines. Uh, but not for the pros, Indeed. no. Indeed, for the professionals, what they we end up no seeing... We have no idea what they yes, think of us. What they end up seeing uh, at the end of the day is they see um, if any judge, if they either if they recalled them to the final, and if, if so, what each judge placed them, but we don't get any written comments to describe what it is that they liked or didn't like about our performance. Oh, I have to give a really big shout out right now because over on the right side of the floor. I know what you're going have, for. We have Christian, Christian and, and May. May. They are back. Welcome back. They took a little time off, I think, because they were uh, renovating their uh, new studio space. Well, you can't tell. They look great tonight. And they are back and on fire. I got the privilege of watching them uh, last week at a different competition. And it was just so refreshing. They've always been one of my favorite couples, one of my favorite finalists. And I'm really excited to see them uh, back at our national events on the floor tonight. Sometimes a little reprieve, a little break can do wonders just to refresh your love for the game, to refresh your ideas, and even to give your body a small break. Actually. Well, you know what? That doesn't necessarily mean they weren't practicing. That's true. They were just like, you know, we've got this, this studio space we've got to open up and uh, we don't have quite as much time to travel. We gotta get this going. Fair enough, fair enough. Well, they look on fire, and they're bringing it out right here in the quarterfinal. Mm -hmm. I'm loving also here in the middle, Ivan and Valeria back with a vengeance, back with a fire after that little little mishap that they had at the beginning of the smooth final. I'll like, be honest, I'm a little, I'm a, right now, I'm a little disappointed tell. they're not sitting on the floor. What? I, want, I, I was hoping that maybe they, they opened it up in the walls, maybe they just boom. They just put it right in the cha, -cha. Play, Do an homage to their wall. Well, you know what? This is just the quarterfinal. That, that's right. They, they have, got more they, rounds they to they go. Have, a couple more cha-chas to go. Oh, we have a shout-out from Yulia front and center, Ivan and Valeria, for the win tonight, Team Syracuse. Ooh, there they we go. They are definitely good contenders uh, for, I would agree. for our, our title tonight. Ooh, and I have to also mention this shout-out, Faith and Richie. They have been a steadfast couple traveling all across the U.S., doing some great Great work. They're great competitors from Texas. They're the open rhythm champions of that region. And I know that they're looking to try to make it into this final tonight and make a big splash. You know, what, one thing I like that, um, you know, Faith always has, you know, very specific costumes and themes but before her costumes. And I'm not exactly sure what this particular theme is. However, what's really nice about it, and I don't know if they did this on purpose, but I feel like the design of this, you know, asymmetrical long fringe with the multicolors, the rhinestone headband, the neck piece, to uh, the slick hair with just the tight bun, it looks like it's paying homage to, um, you know, a previous time in American rhythm that that was a very common look many many years ago yes and they're they're hearkening it back to to those days sometimes you can't ignore the classics that's right who do we have on our screens right now quite a few couples actually 
You guys are pouring in with these shout outs for the American Rhythm Division. I know, like this is this is the exciting division tonight. Uh, this is what everybody's been waiting for, it looks like. That's right, Emilian Lucero again. Shout out to Dylan Wolf and Carmen. Loving the dress. Good luck. It is nice. Ariana and Arcadi. Ryan and Danelle are on fire. Fire, fuego, fuego. <laughs> on fuego. On fuego. Oh, heat two for the rumba. There's Dylan and Carmen right there. Ha! Huh. Giving you some love there. We see a lot of couples tonight that danced just like in the smooth and the rising star last night, but they're all sporting completely different looks than they did last night. That's right. And here you have Obi just panned past them. Rod Roger and Arizmel, they were a rising star rhythm champions last night. Tonight they're sporting a bright, a bright orange dress. Yeah, last night they were in that really short, sassy uh, turquoise number. Yes. It's a really, really great final. We have Shem and Magdalena in front of us. I'm loving this dress. I know, it's so many different colors. You know what actually my favorite part of it is? Those, uh, I'm going with the, my whole wine colored theme apparently. Go for it. But the those gloves. gloves, they're just like, there's such a, a classy touch that it kind of brings the whole thing together. And, you know, without the gloves, I, I mean, it's still a great dress, but I'm not sure I would love it as much. Like, it really kind of pulls it all together. It was a nice, a nice touch to add those. Agreed. You know what else I have to give her a compliment on? Tell me about it, Stuart. Her tan oh, is immaculate. so immaculate. It is so smooth. There is not a splotch on her. She is glistening. That's one of my, uh, in the Swiss last night, we was talking about pet peeves. Yes, pet peeves. one of my pet peeves, but you splotchy know, like, tanner. Listen, I have to also give a little bit of love to some of the nine dance girls. If you're going from smooth to rhythm, sometimes it's really hard to get that golden tan that you would expect in the rhythm division from a rhythm oh, finalist because you got your different dresses. So unless you're organizing the style of back on your dress, sometimes you I was going to say, because that strap the, the, will wipe the, the, away the, your the, tan. The straps wipe it off, and no matter how much you try to cover it up, you can see it. it it's, it's so hard to get that covered up, even if you have a bit of time to gloss over with some powder or some extra tanner. Woo! We've got Ryan and Danelle on your screens right now. Oh, and this, it's perfect. This, this couple is on fire tonight. I feel like they're probably the uh, number one contenders, I believe, for our I would uh, agree. Our, our rhythm title They've been tonight. They've steadfastly our vice champions for a while now, and now they have a spot open. If they're on tonight, I don't see any reason why they couldn't become our next. If I'm not champions. mistaken, they have been vying for this title and fighting for it for 10 or more years. They have stuck with it. They have never given up. They have never said, you know what? We've been doing this for so long that maybe maybe it's not gonna happen. Nope, they have a dream, they have a goal, and they're not willing to stop until their goals are accomplished and they're met. And I guarantee you tonight, if they are to win, it's only gonna be the beginning. I believe, We're gonna see them I believe that still 100%, dancing 100%. for many, many more years to come. And also, gosh, I have to give a shout out again to our, our music fellow because- I was this, just about to this, say that. This swing right now is like the hottest swing for me. This, this rendition of Hold an Opera Hero by Adam Lambert is a hot swing, guys. If you don't have it on your playlist, put it in there. It'll get your feet moving. Great song. Till the end of the night. Oh, I've, uh, I've got Gabby now wanting a glass of wine because I've said wine so much. She was like wine colored gloves. Listen, I'm not even drinking wine tonight, guys. Just I'm true. literally drinking water. I won't say what brand because not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> but we can be. Hey, in that case, I'm drinking a lovely bottle of smart water. <laughs> the door's open for smart water, uh, vapor distilled water, and electrolytes for taste. pH Actually, balance. Our, our stream has been stream, uh, sponsored a number of times. Uh, Upstage Footwear did it once. Uh, no, they did it more than once. Uh, uh, Dress for Dance did it a couple times. Uh huh. Yep. There's a car washing service in Illinois that did it. Oh, whoa, 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 really? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? I am enjoying the delicious, crisp taste of this wonderful bottle of smart water. Wow. Guys. Sponsor us. Sponsor us. 
And aside from sponsoring us, you know what all of you at home should do? Drink more water. Like and subscribe. And That's like right. and subscribe. And also drink water. Why? Because water, without it, we Guys, die. <laughs> obviously, this chat is blowing up for this American Rhythm Division. And if you left a comment, you better have left a like and a subscribe. All right, we got. Uh, I'm trying to get some, check some stuff in the uh, chat here. Uh, got a shout out. Good luck to Anastasia and Dennis. Ariana and Arcadi got another uh, shout out. Ryan and Danelle. Some Southport love. Vlad and Tara. John Ferris says go couple one nine one. Who is Juan and Jamila from Lakewood Ranch? We is watched that them. how you say that? Jamila. 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 Uh, we watched them dance last night in the That's Rising the Star the Rhythm and Smooth, Smooth as well. That's right. They're recalling, did he say 14? I believe he said they're recalling 14 couples to the American Rhythm semifinal. How many did we start with? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Well, this first couple on our list is not here. Duh, I lost count. No, no. And then look, that couple right there, 186, 186. John Dar Lopez and Ashley Mattingly. Yeah, we're not they, we're not in this heat, unfortunately. No, he's That's sitting a, right next to I'm me. Sitting, I'm sitting right next to you. We had a little bit of a... Uh, a foot ankle malfunction, but that's all right. What's wrong with my smart water, Gabby? No, she loves it. She loves it. Clearly, it's not making me any smarter. Oh, we've got um, Victor and Vaselina on the floor, sporting his uh, new signature uh, Gucci look. Or not Gucci, sorry. Ooh, I'm going to get reamed for that one. Versace. I'm so sorry, guys. Because I was just talking about my smart water. You gotta, you gotta turn in your uh, dress card there. Oh no! Oh. Say goodbye to Dore. All right. Well, I guess it's time for me to take the headphones off. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Love my bed. Oh, we've got a new couple on the floor. Ooh. I'm trying to see. Oh, Kien, Vlad Kien. and Tara. Yes. From they, Princeton. They are a newer it's a partnership. It's a new partnership, yes. That's right. Now, Tara, of course, she is. No stranger to the no final. No stranger of to this the final. Heat. Yes. A beautiful dancer with a gorgeous numerous ballet partners. background. She has been. Some of the most beautiful yes, legs and feet. I agree. And actually, fun fact I've had the pleasure. Of, uh, of training her mother, Sharon, for a number That's of right. years. And so I got to say, I'm a big Tara fan. How can I not be? So welcome to the Rhythm Heat, you guys. Y'all, this ballroom is packed. Tonight. Yeah, like nobody is leaving. We're on. And if they are, they better be going upstairs and putting on this live feed and like it and subscribe, subscribe it. it. Oh, got a shout out for Vlad is from Southport. Okay. My paper says Princeton, so I apologize for that. Gabby says Bolero is her favorite of all of the rhythm dances. I'm with you. Do you have a least favorite rhythm dance, John Dar? A least favorite rhythm dance. You know, they're all amazing, but gosh. we all have that, that one dance in the division where we're like, oh, God, here we go. <sighs> you know, I, I don't... Okay. I'm such, I'm such a complicated beast, I have to say. I, I, I love all of the rhythm dances. I've genuinely grown to love them. When I started as a budding professional, I thought I was going to be a smoothie, a smooth guy, for sure. You're a and, great smooth dancer. And my partner, though that I was, I was blessed with. She was like, now you're gonna be rhythm forever. And so I started my <laughs> rhythm journey. And for me- You never looked back. For me, cha-cha has been the most difficult dance. Not for me to get into, but for me to just produce well. Because it, it's that first dance, it's that one right you're out of the, the gate. Scene. Exactly. And like, yeah, so it's not that I don't enjoy it or that I think it's my least favorite to do. But I think it's probably the one that's given me the most trouble because I feel it and when I'm jamming so hard, I almost find myself doing too much mm -hmm. for a we've slender, got, long, tall fellow as myself. Mm, we've got a great question in the chat from Gabby. Oh, okay. She says, are you allowed to do lifts 
in open divisions? Ooh, the answer is, is eh. Eh. no, ma'am, no, sir, no, thank you. Negative. Uh, no lips allowed. You must have at minimum a pinky toe. Uh, that's a negative. However, you are allowed to have assisted jumps. Assisted jump, but I think you have <laughs> an amount of time in the music that you are allowed you have to, to be to, in the air, right? Yeah, that you're allowed to be in the air. If you're in the air any longer than that allotted amount of time, it is considered a lift. That's correct. And also, technically, you could say that there are a number of tricks that you might see, especially in some of your more romantic dances in, in like rumba or bolero, or even you might say in the smooth dances where you're seeing special types of tornillos or things where the woman has wrapped her arm around the waist of the gentleman and he's bringing her around just so and the toe is just skimming the floor and as long as, as, long that, as it's touching as long as that toe is on the floor even though he's supporting her weight as long as that toe is on the floor not a lift and to specify an assisted jump an assisted jump yes, is yes. anything that the judges could look at and go she could do that without him like if he was not if the partner was not touching the other partner and she was to try to do this particular move would they be able to do it with or without the assistance of their partner? If the answer is yes, it is considered an assisted jump. Ooh. If the answer is no, it's considered a lift. What about one of the most famous Fred Astaire assisted jumps of all time, and it's even a multi-generational trick? I know exactly what you're about to say. The DeSoto split. The DeSoto split? The DeSoto split. Done by the amazing, I believe first by the amazing Jackie Josephs. Oh, yes. And uh, Jesse DeSoto, uh -huh. and then rolled yep. right into Aaron and Irina DeSoto. Correct, in the Mambo. Yep. Now, if I know anything about those two girls, they don't need no help doing nothing. <laughs> They can do it all by themselves. 100%. 100%. Mm -hmm. Jackie would say, Jar Jar, what are you talking about? The Mambo. Oh, Annalise. Jandar is not dancing tonight because his beautiful partner has suffered a little bit of an ankle injury. And just like we were talking about earlier with the couple that had to bow out in the standard, um, you know, sometimes it's better to be safe than sorry. And to for the longevity of their career, they have chosen not to dance tonight. Oh, Ashley right. uh, had to dance with uh, her students this week, and you know, it was making that hard decision of what's more important, you know, being able to dance in this moment or being able to dance for many moments. That's true. And if you, you know, if you're a dancer, especially you know at uh, the highest level like that, you know, it's high emotions. You know, making that choice is always hard. And I am looking at this floor right now, and everybody is killing this mambo. No one is walking through this. This is a great Mambo song, actually. It's one that, you it's know, when clear. I was talking about, I was going to say, when I was talking about timing, if you're off time in this Mambo, there's a little something, something wrong with you because it's a very clear timing. Mm hmm I just got a, a text from one of, uh, one of the people that I know that's uh, watching our live stream uh, saying that Jandar and I are cracking her up. Woo, we're cracking you up. Oh, and Deborah. With just a bunch of eggs cracking everyone around. Deborah coming in with a comment about the cha cha. That's true. You know, it's so difficult to find, you know, you really have to maintain, you have to get that rhythmicality in there, but it's almost, uh, you know, finding the perfect ingredients or the perfect amount. Even if you get all the ingredients present, sometimes it's all about proportions. How much of this creates that look that you're really desiring, that gives you rhythmicality, but still maintains strength. All right, next we are moving into our semi-final round of our Open International Latin. And if I'm not mistaken, this is another division. We are crowning a new National Latin Champion tonight. Our, uh, this is a huge night. Our current reigning champions are not present tonight. They are still dancing. They are just not uh, present here at our national event this year. And we are crowning a new Fred Astaire National Open Latin Champion. So uh, as they are coming out onto the floor, let's hear some shout outs for your favorite couples that are out there. A lot of our couples that danced last night in the Rising Star are here. We have some unique looks on the floor. Very true. Even from some of the gentlemen. Anyone in particular? I'm looking at this 
this lad right here in front of me. Cha -cha. He's got oh, this. He's got a, a bit of a, a, a mesh see-through shirt, but he's got these drapes hanging in front that also kind of hang down in accent, almost like. Oh, it, I didn't realize they were um, pieces that were hanging yeah, down. It, I thought it was just a stoned line. I it almost looks like a very long necktie that he's taken open and left stone. Oh, yes. This is our couple that danced in the standard, and she had the nude dress with the white and the feathers on the top. Oh, yes. Are they a Romeo and Juliet couple? Um, no. I lied. Forget I said that. Delete it. Scratch it. <laughs> Strike it from the record. Go Magdalena and Shem from the Rhythm Division, yes. Shout out to Oleg and Karina. Michael and Anna. Dancing tonight in our Open International Latin. That's a couple tonight, you know, like I guess they made that smooth final. They are uh, pretty good uh, representatives for the Open Latin in our company and have also a really good shot of uh, taking home that title tonight. Ooh, agreed. There's a couple uh, of our couples that are out here tonight who, uh, you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough night for these judges when we get down to the final. Gotcha. Oh, and thanks for the love, Annalise. We appreciate it. Besos, besos. Okay, listen. Couple number one ninety eight. One ninety eight. This gentleman here is Roman and Anna from and South Tampa. Now, to me, this is controversial. This gentleman, is his hair split straight down the middle? Um, I will tell you when he turns around. Or do my eyes deceive me? At the Oh, we got judges cam up there. And unfortunately on my screen, it's so small and they're moving so fast. I can't quite tell. Um, I know Roman because he's from our uh, our Florida region here, um, and it m very well could be. I feel like if I remember correctly, he usually takes his part in his hair and does it just off center. But tonight, maybe he's sporting something something different. I can't quite tell. You know, the gentleman's hair is usually a lot shiny and it is slick, super slick. Also, so a lot of times you can't even tell if they have a part in their hair. Very true. Very true. Ooh, this the couple bold the strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it works for him. Beautiful new that just danced across your screen. Let's see if I can it's find. It's Anastasia Konieva. And Alex from North Scottsdale. Yep. Well, kudos to the people that are brave enough to sit in the front row at an international Latin competition. You get a nice breeze. You get a breeze, you get a ronde either above your face, and also you get a, a, a ring of sweat that might fling your way once in a while. Oh, that's always great. I have seen, <laughs> I've seen many a times when, um, you know, the guys will do a really fast spin like, and, and just sweat goes flying <laughs> everywhere. It's... And it has, I've seen it where it's landed in other people's uh... mouths before. And oh. um, that's just not very sanitary. That happened to me with one of my students once. We were dancing, we were dancing open Latin at Emerald Ball, and she made it to the pro am final. And we're doing international rumba, and she does this one leg drop right beneath me. And I look over her, and I see literally a sweat drips, sweat drips off my nose and lands in her mouth. Uh, ew. And. We had to finish the whole final, and after we came did off, did she notice? I, I oh yes, she did. She never let me forget it. As Sorry. she shouldn't. Sorry, Afton, if you're watching. It was a total accident. Miss you. There are, as I'm looking out there on the floor tonight, it's not just our, uh, our current champions that we are missing out on the floor tonight. I believe there's a handful of, maybe not a handful, but there's maybe two or three other uh, couples that I'm used to seeing uh, in the International Latin and even in the final that uh, are not here. It's not, not either not here or they're not dancing. Mm. You know, there's a lot of people in this ballroom, so I can't necessarily tell who is here and who is not, but they are not on the floor. 
Oh, right here in the middle, this beautiful yellow with those feathers. I believe those were our winners of the Rising Star Latin last night. And she had that lovely uh, soft lilac color that went you down are. into the crystal that everybody thought was white. You are correct. Um, through the screen. But there's no denying what she's wearing tonight. It is bright citrine yellow. Citrine, yes. Citrine. Gorgeous. And isn't it interesting, even, that you must be totally familiar with this, but it's, you know, just as an onlooker myself from this perspective, how the color of the dress almost like brings out a different quality in the hair color and the hairstyle of the woman wearing it. It does, and the same thing goes for the tanner. If yes. your um, tanner is maybe too dark, it can change the color of the, not just by getting the tanner on the dress, it can change the color. <laughs> but <laughs> it, like everything, when you're picking out a color for your costume or when you're getting a new dress, everything needs to come into play. It's not just, oh, here's my new dress and I'm just gonna do whatever. You know, you have to think about, you know, oh, how do I wanna do my makeup with this particular style? How do I wanna do my I hair maybe that looks a little bit different that is going to be an accessory to this new creation and you know how dark am i going to take my tanner or how light am i going to take my tanner because mm. all of it all of it comes into play it does you it know does. you've got sometimes a couple that's wearing a very dark colored dress and they've put on what may be considered an excessive amount of tanner and uh, it just kind of will start to look a little muddy. Yes. Um, and, but the same thing can happen in with uh, a lighter colored dress. If you don't have enough tanner on, it'll wash you out. So true, so true. And different colors can also um, bring out different tones in your skin that you might necessarily have to think about like when you're doing your makeup, like how do I maybe cancel out, um, like if a particular color makes your skin look red, you know, how do I use my makeup and my tan to kind of cancel out that redness and make my skin tone look even? Correct, and a lot of different tans that you get, even self-tan appliques, they, are, they have a different, they have a, a different base. Sometimes they're more of a red base or, or a darker or green base. Oh, and yes, Miss Pushpa, Ellie and Tim are on the floor. They just finished their Pasa Doble. They're, they're towards the, the left-hand side of the screen, walking back in. They have a new Pasta Doble routine that they just mastered. They've been working very they hard with their really coach. this really cool, like, spin just a second yes. ago that was, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. so slow. They go into this, <sighs> they go into the Matrix for a second, a true Matrix mode. I liked it. Yep, it's definitely, it's a, it's a delicious little moment in their yeah, Pasta Doble. That's exactly right, Gene. You have to think of the total package. Um, you know, as somebody who also is working in the uh, dress vendor arena. Yes. You know, I, one of the first questions I will ask somebody when they come to my booth and they're looking for a dress is not always like, oh, what, what size are you? Because size is irrelevant in, in my opinion. It's what colors do you like or what colors should I stay away from? Right. And you know what's funny? And especially I'm going to, you know, say my favorite dress on the floor tonight is that couple that won the Rising Star in that bright yellow. But that's a color that every, almost every single person that comes and talks to me goes, I don't want to wear yellow and nope. I don't want to wear orange. No one thinks they look good in yellow. But yellow is such a great color. And it's so striking on the floor. Like, as I'm looking out at the floor right now, we have three couples in various shades of yellow. We have like a true like citrine yellow. Yes. And then we've got two couples that are in more of like a, a, neon. a neon highlighter version of yellow. And guess what? Those are the colors that are popping. Immediately, immediately your eye is drawn to that. So something I would recommend to everybody out there is don't be afraid of color. You know, the safest choice is always what? I love how you said Black. Yep. Safest choice is always black or reds or blues. You know, maybe try something one time that you go, you know, I don't usually like the color yellow or the color orange or the color green, whatever it is. Yes. And just go, you know what? Let me try something. Yeah. Because you also have to remember when you have your dress on and you're not all done up yet, you're looking at yourself in the mirror and you're looking at, you know, 
the the normal you versus you have to imagine yourself Ooh, with you. what my what my tanner is going to look like, what my hair is going to look like, what my makeup is going to look like, and see the whole vision and go like, oh, I can wear this and I can rock it. Agreed. I believe we're now moving into the, the semifinal. semifinal of the rhythm. Ooh, semifinal of the Open American Professional Rhythm here right, at NDC. We have some great couples coming back onto the floor. Yeah, we do. That advice you just gave about the dresses is so poignant to me. Like I always try to, especially for our first time competitors, you know, it might not be for them to get a custom dress made yet, but you can put together a whole look off of, from a dress off the rack. Oh, for sure. And create something that looks like it was made just for them. 100%. You know what's interesting, only because we're talking about dresses right now, I'm looking out at the semifinal. And not too many times do you see couples that will change for a semifinal round. But our but. Uh, our little uh, Christian and May out there have chosen to change from that dark. I, would, I, can't, I don't know if it was necessarily black. It might have been black with some other tones in it. So now they're in these this uh, highlighter orange on the top and highlighter pink on the bottom, and she's just covered in fringe. Lots of cutouts, very sexy, and you know what? I maybe you know I'm so excited that they're back. But that dress in the first round to me didn't necessarily pop, and I didn't notice them as much on the floor. And right now, I can't take my eyes off of them. And what they, this is a little, for those of you that might have just seen it on the screen there, there's this move they just did in this cha-cha where they went to a full stop, like ice cold, no moving. They're known for doing that in a few of their routines, and it's so cool. Like It just goes to show you, sometimes, Sometimes no movement is movement is the best is the best thing. In a sea of red cars, can you be a blue car? There's a there's power in stillness. For sure. They've got that in spades. Let's get some shout-outs in the chat right now. Who's your favorite couple? Who do you want to see? Make it all the way through to our American rhythm final and possibly have the chance to take home that title tonight. Come on, let's sound off in the chat right now. Y'all are being real quiet. One, two, three, four, let's go. Shout out for Sergey and Ekaterina from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I believe they are the new owners of that studio. Oh, congratulations, guys. I'm, you know, super happy for them. They are such great people, good friends. Um, I'm really excited for their journey and how far they've come. And they're um, one of our nine dance couples. That's fantastic. That's great. You agree on May's dress? Ooh, still crushing on Magda's dress, though. Best dress in the Pro Latin? Ooh. Oh, best dress in the Pro Latin for me was the yellow, the I'll citrine. The citrine. I'm going to second that hardcore. Yeah. Although there was the black dress that had, like, almost looked like the lace on the sides that of it. That was a great look. She was, well, first of all, that girl is tall. But that dress, actually, it's, it's right in front of me uh, at the table here. Oh, wow. But uh, it's, she looks, she's very tall. And those cutouts that were on that dress were placed, in, in my opinion, just the right spot for her. Agreed. Made her look super long. So, John Dar, I'm going to ask you your opinion. Yes, sir. Do you think there are any couples missing from this semifinal? You don't have to necessarily call them out, but as you were watching the the quarterfinal, is there anybody that you're you're out there looking for right now, and you're like, mm. there's a couple people that I think, in oh, my okay. opinion, should have made it. Okay. Um, in my opinion, I would agree with you. Like tenure-wise, quality-wise, yes, I would say there's a couple of couples, a couple, a couple of couples <laughs> that couple of couples. definitely would have been a shoe-in for me into this semifinal. However, 
the quality we are seeing from the current stock left on the floor is impeccable. I mean, like, I'm not really looking out there and thinking that anyone looks out of place. However, I do have a couple of favorites that are missing. I see a couple of new faces. Look like they're getting some... Really? New faces? Which ones? <coughs> These lads right here. 169. Oh, 169, yes. From uh, Awatuki, right? That's right. That's right. They're just our little they're our nine really dance couple. They're really blowing up this week. They're uh, rocking and rolling. They've been in a few finals and in a few semifinals all, all week long so far. I also am not Ooh. sure if maybe I necessarily know who this couple in the uh, the yellow on the left is with the uh, the peplum on her hips. It, I'm trying to it, see it, his it, it, number. It, it, is it 266 or 262? Is that who you're speaking of? Uh, I will let you know as soon as I can see his number. 266. 266. Who is this gentleman? 266 is. I'm scrolling through my paper right now. That's. Uh, Basile. And Christina. Or Christiana, sorry. From Glastonbury. Oh. I'm not sure I've seen this couple before. And if I have, I'm sorry, guys. What I'm seeing, I'm liking. I, I, I do like it. We've got more shout outs for Ryan and Danelle. Ryan and Danelle. Ooh, could be a great night for them. It looks like so far from our perspective, they're bringing it in the semi as well. <laughs> Who's your favorite couple out there, guys? Oh, Christian and May on fire in her dress. I might have to agree. I really like her dress. Agreed. I'm curious to see... The couples that make the final. Ooh. Who's going to change tonight? To see if tonight? they change or if they just yeah. stick with the look that's like, this is some, what I am tonight. There's some pretty great dresses on the floor that's right now. Hit. So how are you going to top what you're already wearing? Ooh. I know for sure. Well, I mean, I don't know for sure. But I would assume Danelle's going to come out in something spectacular for that final. You know, I was over at the something dress for like dance. I, I was over at the dress for dance booth earlier today. Oh, did you get a sneak peek Listen, of what's possibly to come? I'm pretty sure. If, if, if she doesn't come out in that tonight, I would be surprised. But there's something over there that I think is really slick and classic Danelle. Oh, I'm excited to see it. You know, last night I was talking about um, in the Bolero, taking the opportunity to see a lot of good actual fundamentals bolero tell me and that's something that i feel like ryan and danelle showcase so wonderfully first of all no one no one can spin like she can Oof. to me she reminds me when she's spinning of uh, joanna lunas uh, oh. many many time undefeated world latin champion she could spin. You're gonna get nothing but love for Joanna on this channel. On her axis, and like without any assist from her partner, like just take her feet, twist herself, and spin like 15 times in a row, and stop like it was absolutely nothing. And I feel like Danelle really kind of embodies that same thing. But one thing I really love about her dancing is she has a freedom when she danced. You can tell that she is enjoying and living in every moment, and Ryan is right there to support her I agree. every step of the way, and he's there to, uh, you know, catch her, for lack of better words, because uh, oh, yeah. she's, she's, well, she's going for it. She's going for it, and if it. you're not there, well, there is no you're not there. You better be there. That's right. He's a great foil for her. We have some love we got to give in the chat. Annalise giving some love to Richie and Faith from Cypress, Texas. And actually, you know, uh, I heard through the grapevine that they may be opening their own studio soon. Oh, that's exciting for them. Yes, they have been some of the top teachers in this company for many years now. And it looks like they're venturing out to go into more of the business side themselves and to bring that their own brand and special quality of love of dance to a whole student body all their own. So best of luck to you both. Congratulations, guys. 
All right. Who is your favorite mambo couple on the floor tonight? Because everybody right now, everybody's mambo has a, a different style, a different flair. Who's your favorite mambo? Well, I have to say, I'm, I'm, wa I'm watching a couple of couples. A couple of couples. <laughs> Roger and Erzmel have been notably running up the ranks with their mambo show. So I'm looking at that mambo just to see kind of the design of uh, the playfulness of what's going on. Ryan and Danelle have this quality in their mambo that I've always enjoyed. But the ones that are bringing my attention are Ivan and Valeria, to be oh, nice. honest. They have some great movements through using, using rotation, tight movements, lovely body actions, and they're super connected and they're not missing a beat. I think my favorite, I have two favorites right now. It's gonna be Christian and May. Their mambo for me has always been so much fun to watch. Fire. And Ariana and Arcadi, because she really takes a lot of her hip hop background uh. and incorporates it into her mambo. And just like, for lack of better words, just lets them have it. And it's so much fun. That was a wonderful semifinal. Great job, guys. Tim and Ellie from Cyprus. Moving into our Latin final. Did your favorite couple make it? Of course they did. Not you, the audience at home. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They're supposed to be playing along. Guys, hey, you gotta, you gotta speak up. Did your couple make the final? And if not, give them some love, but also, given what's out there, who are you going for? We got a great final in front of us. Five wonderful dances. Now, because that uh, title for tonight is open and available, oh, just yes. like in the rhythm, I feel like both those finals tonight, all these couples are going to be giving every ounce of ooze and personality that they have. Because uh, it could be, honestly, looking out there, it could be any one of their nights tonight. We're making some history tonight with some of these divisions. Some dreams coming true. Great performances and a show for this audience here at Fred Astaire, NDC here in Orlando, Florida. There you have that beautiful citrine dress again, and what you're seeing. Decided not to go with the change, which I think is smart. It's a great look. Don't change it. We've got some shout outs in the chat from John Ferris and Tommy Travato for Go Oleg and Karina. Hey. On fire at the moment, I agree with you. Aaron, yes. And what's interesting, you know, we were talking about changing. Not a single couple changed for this final. Correct. They all thought, you know what, my look is strong enough and my dancing is strong enough to speak for itself. They're all, no one changed. I'm getting a closer look now at this black dress you were mentioning earlier. Isn't it cool? 
Those, it's very, those cutouts on the legs are... It's very different than yes. anything else that's on the floor. I agree. Just like I was saying last night, the couple from Texas, you know, it's just, it's different. And I like, I like and appreciate different. Who is so far, because we've gotten to see them now, this is the second round we're getting to watch them. Who is each of your uh, favorite couple tonight so far? Who's, who's really giving it to you? Woof. Who's giving it to me? Who's giving it to me? I mean. It's hard. They're all so good. I gotta say, like, this couple, the, the one that you mentioned in the black dress, couple 174, is really working for me. And I especially like the gentleman's musicality. And he's, he's doing a great job. He's really rhythmical. He's doing a great job staying in the music. He's producing his own kind of story, but also it's not distracting from his partner at all. All right, I am going to step away just for a brief moment to take a phone call. I'm going to leave you in the capable hands of John Dark. Butter biscuit. We got you, love muffin. And rhubarb pie over here. We got you, love muffin. I will be back in just a few moments, everybody. <laughs> everybody, let's say Don't miss me too much while I'm gone. Say goodbye to love muffin. Hopefully he comes back. <laughs> All right. Okay. I don't know. They are all amazing. I agree with you for sure. Yeah, at this level, it's hard to distinguish. And you're right. And Aaron, you're right. Uh, Pro Latin is becoming, you know, it really goes through waves with Fred Astaire Dance Studios, but we're really developing a very strong international Latin community, both professionally and in our Pro-Am divisions. I would, I have to say, I'm really proud of the way that the international style is developing. Go Scottsdale. A little love for Karina and Oleg. And here you're seeing the gentleman I was talking about earlier. Some wonderful body shaping as he just carves the, carves the wind and the space around his partner. A great use of space there from couple 174. And that's Mikhail and Alina. From Hershey, right? Yes, from Hershey. Yeah. Like the chocolate. That makes sense because they're so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy, don't make me laugh. We'd like to ask all of our couples that competed in the semifinal round of our Open American Rhythm, please make your way to the Abbey Gary. The results have been posted for the finals. They posted the final of Open American Rhythm. You're going to see a bunch of couples going over there to check to see if they made the cut. All right, couples, we have fourth dance. The Pasta Dole. Oh, and here you see couple 258. Daniel and Vladislava from North Scottsdale giving you their Pasta Doble. A very strong dance with dramatic flair, flamenco elements put in. The classic Espanacani. If you ever studied Pasa Doble, you know there's only one great song <laughs> to compete to. But there's many great songs to actually. A student asked me the other day, they were like, hey, is there more than one song for Pasa Doble? And it's like, well, no, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's complicated. <laughs> it's like, that's a complicated answer. First highlight, here we go. Hey.
Again, you're seeing that great, that great trick performed by Tim and Ellie from Cyprus, couple 143. The slow motion matrix pasta doble. And here you have our beautiful citrine dress again, couple 262. That's Robin and Diana from New York East. Hey! We're not done yet. That's two highlights in, one more to go. Fun fact, if you're a student getting a possibly choreographed, you do not need all three highlights. Common misconception, you only need maybe two, maybe two. If you get a whole Paso choreographed, you've been duped. Now you have it. Maybe you've got routine. You've got a routine for a show. That's what, what you've got. Some great dancing here from Karina and Oleg. Final finish. Sometimes you need just a good walk away. It doesn't have to be just, <laughs> just bah, bah, have at you. Hand thrown in the air. Hapaya. Ladies and gentlemen, those are your Fred Astaire NDC Open Professional International Latin Finalists you just witnessed. All right. Now they're calling them out. We have one dance left. This is the deal breaker. It's going to be the jive coming up. Ah, uh, no worries. Yadira, I'm sure you're going to see a lot of Ryan and Danelle coming up in the final. Now, I'm no, I'm no fortune teller, but I've got a hankering that you're going to see them in the final. I'd, I'd, uh, I'd make that bet. Put your hands together as they find their places for their fifth and final dance. I agree, Tommy. Beautiful dancing. The job. The Jive. Listen, guys, who hasn't seen that classic meme that's come up? Okay, I mean, it's a, it's this classic meme about Jive that it's a, it's, it's this video almost. It's like it says what I think I look like when I dance Jive, <laughs> and it's this couple just killing it in the Jive, and then it flashes to what my coach thinks I look like, and it's this, uh, this moo cow frolicking in a field. <laughs> And it's, 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 it's just the most debilitating, but also half-true comment. Your coach is just like, this is a disgrace. <laughs> we are having fun at the jive, I believe. It. The yellow does look good. Melinda, I second that. We've been talking about it all night. Let's go, here we go, let's pump it out for the jive. Nobody can get tired now. If you're tired, don't show it. You got about 45 seconds left. You can do anything for 45 seconds. At least that's what my personal trainer tells me. <laughs> you can do anything for 45 seconds, John Dar. Lunges across parking lot. The jive. Look at that jive, what a jive, folks. Let's give it up for him in the comments and show some love. And also, if you can take the time to comment, don't forget to like and subscribe to Dance Board Dynamics. Bringing you the ballroom goodness. One of the most delectable channels you'll find serving up ballroom entertainment. That's right. Judges, we have 
Taylor, Wisconsin, in couple 153, Dimitri and Veronica. Uh, and here we have our open uh, rhythm finalists. New Jersey and Southport, Connecticut, couple 180, Vlad and Tara. From Carmel, California, couple 185, Ryan and Danelle. There they are. You were looking for them. Here they are. From Warren, Rhode Island, couple 227, Roger and Aristotle. Great result for them. From Palm Beach Garden, Florida, couple 239, Christian. And from Lafayette, New York, 245, Ivan and Valeria. Ivan and Valeria with a costume change. A similar fabric to her smooth dress, I have to say. Mm -hmm. yep. Great reflective material. It's going to really show off that lighting that I know these gentlemen have set okay. up for us it's to really highlight this final. Guys. And Rhubarb Pie is present. He's just... A little silent. He's a bit busy at the moment. All right. He's got a job to do. Right. Hey, honey. <laughs> Your first dance. The cha cha. Cha cha. Valeria had another spill. Oh. Well, that? at least they're consistent. Yeah. <laughs> Hope she's all right. Yay for Vlad okay. and Tara making it into the final. Let's go. There's a proud mama somewhere that's going to be happy. Sharon, I know you are. the corner there, you see Ryan and Danelle vying for that national championship title. I love, uh, I've always loved her impeccable, uh, there, not just hers, their impeccable look, Ryan and Danelle. I agree. There's just a, a staple. I would say her dresses always have kind of like a, a loose, almost like boxed in kind of feeling to them, but her body really makes the dress work. It's about the fabric with, with, with Danelle's dresses yeah. I've seen that I really enjoy. A nice spin out there from Roger and Erismel in this open final, and they are here, and they are making sure everybody knows it. Christian and May decided to go with that bright dress in the final. Dancing very strong. And I'm seeing out of Christian what I'm really enjoying now because as a gentleman, I tend to, I to watch the guys a lot, you know? But Christian has always been a very strong male dancer. But what I'm really see I'm seeing a lot more musicality out of his body tonight. So he's really on fire showing off May in a beautiful way, creating great space around her, designing these tricks and giving her the, all the space she needs. There on the screen there, you see Roger and Erismel. She's back at that teal dress, showing you their flavor of the rumba. Some basic fundamentals there in open position. The nice crab walks. Gotta love that dramatic pull in. Something to get you in the mood. In the mood. You get a nice pan across the floor. See Ryan and Danelle there. In the bottom right of your screen. You're also gonna see Ivan and Valeria. Great contenders for this division. But also, right there on the far end, we wanna make sure. We have 153, Dimitri and Veronica from Greenfield. She's got a dress change. She's wearing something a little bit more, a little greener, a tealer earlier. She's in this beautiful net 
dress that's on top of a nude bodysuit with some pink neon the activating on top. Just shows off her great body, great rhythmicality, and Dimitri going back to a staple look for him. A nice, a slick, a clean black vest with a white Latin shirt. Got some great rhythm in their body tonight. I know they're looking to bring it and show off something special this evening. Hey, hey, we have some love for Ryan and Danelle from their students. Thank you, Elaine. They're proud. Let's rock and roll. Carmel Mountain Ranch. Ah, you're right, Miss Pushba. There are some fan favorites missing from this final. Now swing, swing is a great dance, a super great dance, and especially when you're dancing at this professional level, you're gonna see a lot, you're gonna see a lot of high energy, kind of like pop music that really has a very strong bass emphasis on your even beats. So you have that, that chug, you might say, that comes a lot in swing, that bump, 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 that one, a two feeling. seeing if these dancers are really going to bring out the flavor of authentic swing, even with this modern music. Swing. Christian and May, giving it up. Looking strong, both of them tonight, Christian and May. Let's couple two, three, nine. Christian and May, give them some love. And also, hey, we've got our finalists. If you've got a couple that you're vying for our, our, our new championship spot, let us know who you want to take home this brand new national championship title. It's a history-making night. We'd love to have you part of it here in the comments. If you've got friends and family watching, Get them to comment too, and also like and subscribe. We're here at Dance Board Dynamics, bringing you this American Rhythm Open Final. It's some of the most beautiful dancing you're gonna see, not only in the Fred Astaire franchise company, but also some great national finalists here as well. Here we have Ryan and Danelle demonstrating some beautiful bolero basics, a great spiral action there. As well as Tara and Vlad showing their flavor of bolero. Now, bolero is a very passionate dance. It's a very, come here, I love you, go away. It's very a push and pull. It's a very elastic kind of dance that literally pulls at the heartstrings. And this dance of bolero typically, traditionally comes from these, these Spanish ballads, these true canciones, you know, that are really about the longing of, uh, of what love can do between two people. So really, we're looking to see really, you know, who, who brings that flavor to light. And this music choice, again, impeccable. It's a nice modern feel. A little bit of a pop drum beat underneath, but still it's got a very soft, a soft romance to it that these dancers are bringing out in a very lovely way. All right, let's reintroduce our couple. Ooh, the dress change. Favorite new dress is Veronica. She's had some really interesting dress choices in the past, and I think net is something she's done before with a different color scheme and different, maybe a two-piece here or there, but I'm really enjoying this. It's, it's classy, but it's fresh. It's very complimentary on her body. Well done, Veronica and Dimitri. Their dancing is great tonight. Great job, Taryn Vlad, making this final. We have Ryan and Danelle. Giving a bow to the audience and to the judges. Roger and Erismel. They must be very excited to be here. Christian and May coming back from a little bit of a break, but they definitely don't like it, don't look like it. Delivering a strong final thus far. Here 
here we are, Ivan and Valeria, your Fred Astaire Nine Dance Champions, as well as your American United States Nine Dance Champions, Ivan and Valeria, a couple 245, here in our own Fred Astaire final. We're about to walk into our final dance of the entire evening. This is the Mambo. Guys, get on your feet. Give us a like and a subscribe. Throw us a comment. Let's get crazy. Let's have some fun. If you're there at home, get on your feet. Let's dance this Mambo. I know you can't hear it because I have to keep talking, but it's going to be spicy. I know it. We're starting off with a great isolation inside there. Mr. Ivan rocking and rolling. Some fast footwork. Ryan and Danell, a little bit of slow motion move to some breaks. A little Suzy Q action here. <laughs> Loving the playfulness for these couples. A high Ronde and the speed of Danell. Wow. This result's going to be interesting. I agree. I'm really, I'm really excited to see where this goes. Again, guys, we're crowning a brand new champion tonight in the American Rhythm Division from British Air Dance Studios. And everybody is going all out. Nobody is backing down. It's anyone's game. Roger and Erismel. A little dust off of the shoe. Ain't no thing. Back to it. And of course we have Dimitri and Veronica in the corner. Not backing down. Taking the short side, commanding the audience all on the left side of the ballroom. And a quick pan across the floor so you can appreciate your couple. Give them a shout out. Beautiful dancers, I agree, Gloria. Well done. What a great night of dancing we just witnessed. Now, hey, don't tune out yet because you're just getting to the, the part you've been waiting for. You, stu you stuck around this long. You might as well stick along a little longer. Now we have the awards. Let's see who actually takes home these titles and these placements. Are we start with Pro Heat number 11, our professional open cabaret. We're going to have our two couples, please, come on to the floor. We're bringing on our cabaret couples. Now we had, this was a two couple final. Between couple 181, Andre and Celeste, and couple 218, Zachary and Ariel. Zachary's looking around. Where's my man? Where he at? Where he at? Ah, there he is. <laughs> Your results are as follows. In second place, couple 181, Andre and Celeste. Andre and Celeste, and wonderful. And congratulations to the 2023 National Professional Open Cabaret Champions, couple 218, Zachary and Ariel. Hey guys, let's put your hands together for your national cabaret champions, Zachary and Ariel from Milwaukee, delivering a stellar performance tonight. Every bit deserving of that title. Like ask our couples in Pro Heat number 12. Pro Heat number 12 are open. International ballroom. So please come on the floor. Your results are next. I know, it's sad, only two couples. Boo, we need more cabaret. More people got to lift more people. <laughs> All right, congratulations, Zach and Ariel. And now next, our results. Can we pick a favorite dress for the ballroom? International ballroom. Uh, I'm going to go for pink with black. I agree. Position. Gold's a close second, but Michaelo yep. And Anna. All right. 
I like how the, our dress expert is not here for this. He's not. That's okay. We don't need him. We don't need him. Third, all five dances, couple 190, Alexi and Ola. Just kidding. Love Muffin, we miss you. We know you're working very hard. <laughs> and your runners up by placing second in all dances, couple 288, Daniello and Anacosia. And congratulations to your champions by placing first in all dances, couple 234, Maxim and Polina. And Maxim and Polina taking home the championship title in our open international ballroom from North Scottsdale. That's right. Also, our dress choice. What do you guys think? Fun fact, Maxim and Polina will be helping the Dance Boy Dynamics channel with some projects next year. And Look out for that. Starting in the early part of the year. And nine dance champions. Ooh, keep your eyes peeled. Yep. Following all of our open heats. So please stick around for that. Thank you. Also, Mr. Stephen Knight would like to ask all the winners to make sure they go see him at NBC Live for your champions interview. Thank you. Yeah. That's right. If you want to hear a little right, now, snippet like about your champions, check out NDC Live. You'll see interviews by Stephen Knight and all of our champions tonight going up. Oh, and now we're walking into our American style smooth our final results. Please come on the floor. Do we pick a winner for this one? Ooh, the dresses? Yeah. Ba -ba 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 I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm scanning, I'm reminding oh, myself. Nice. Um, 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 black feathers. All right, black feathers. All right. All right, oh, wait, but Valeria had that dress, didn't she? Yeah. Ooh, I like Valeria's dress. I agree. Yeah. We're in sixth position, couple 208. Oleg. And Karina. Still a great result for them. Congratulations, Oleg and Karina. In fifth position, couple 217, Vasily and Irina. Strong performance side from Vasily and Irina. In fourth position, couple 219, Dimitro and Ellie. Well done, well done. In third position by placing third in all dances, couple 155, you give me an old guy. Well done. Good to see Evgeny out there. And your runners up. Top two. By placing second in all dances, couple 245, Ivan and Valeria. A very honorable placement for Ivan and Valeria. They're definitely on their way to the top. And congratulations to our 2023 National Fred Astaire Open American Smooth Champions, couple 172, Carrington and Anastasia. Everybody at home, put your hands together for Carrington and Anastasia. They are our returning Fred Astaire champions. Heraton and Anastasia will also be helping out our channel for that project, so look for that. I'm, I'm purposely keeping it obscure. Oh, we're keeping it vague. Yeah, a little vague. You picked Arena's black dress? Ah, that was a good one. Who picked it? Oh, Jeannie did. Jeannie did. Jeannie, Jeannie. And thank you it is a very feminine dress for her. It's quite soft. It's like a, a nice thank baby pink. And, and the material just floats. Thank you. I'd like to welcome our next set of presentation. We have Ila Ephraimov and Ms. Nicole. Looks like we're moving in our international Latin final results for open professional Latin. This was a strong division. All right. We'd also like to ask our sponsor for our open international Latin to please come up. Miss Rita Lorito. Ooh, big thanks to Rita Lorito. Connecticut. For sponsoring our professional well, open Latin division. Rita for sponsoring our pro Latin. Thank you, Rita. All right, your results are as follows. In sixth position, couple 143, Telemachos and Elizabeth. Well done, Timonelli. 
Texas represent. In position, couple 208, Oleg and Karina. In for position, couple 262, Robin and Diana. That was our favorite dress, right? The yellow? Yes. And in third position, like by placing too. fourth in the cha cha, third in the samba, third in the rumba, third in the pasta doble, and fourth in the jive. Couple 174, Mikhail and Elena. Mm -hmm. All right. And your runners up by placing second in all dances, couple 287, Alex and Anastasia. And congratulations to our champions by placing first in all dances, couple 258, Danil and Vladislava. Give it up, everybody, for couple 258, Danil and Vladislava from North Scottsdale, your Open Latin Professional champion. Latin Champions. Both couples, uh, uh, second was also from North Scottsdale. That's right. Yeah. I can imagine those regionals are intense. All right, we'd like to ask Proheat 13, our Open American Rhythm finalist, to please come on. And here we go, guys. This seems to be the event that so many of you online have been waiting for, the yes. final results of our right. Open Professional American Rhythm. Here at Fred Astaire crowning our new champion. Let's see who it is. Drum roll at home, snaps at home. Once again, we'd like to ask our Open American Rhythm couples to please come on to the floor. We will if we could find all the couples, then we could give them the results. Sure. <laughs> Where'd they be at? And again, once around, a nice round of applause for our sponsor, Rita Lorito. Thank you again to our sponsor, Rita Lorito. We appreciate your patronage. Thank you. Congratulations right, to Neil and Vladislava. Sponsors of our Open American Rhythm, please come up. We appreciate Tom you guys in the and comments. Brenda Hicks. And thanks to our sponsors, Texas. Tom and Brenda Hicks. All right, this is Trohe 13, Open American Rhythm. Your results are as follows. In sixth position, Couple 180, Vlad and Tara. Congratulations, right. guys. In fifth position, couple 239, Christian and May. In fourth position, couple 153, Dimitri and Veronica. Oh, the tension. In third position, by placing third in the cha-cha, third in the rumba, third in the swing, fourth in the bolero, and second in the mambo. Couple 227, Roger and Erismel. Right. A great placement for Roger and Erismel. Coming right out of the Rising Star final winners, right into the final of Open. And, and then your there were two. By placing second in the cha-cha, second in the rumba, second in the swing, Second in the Bolero and third in the Mambo. Couple 245, Ivan and Valeria. Let's hear it for Ivan and Valeria. A strong vice champion, second place at our Fritz Air Nationals. And crowning and your new champions. To our 2023 National Open American Rhythm Champions by placing first in all dances, couple 185, Ryan and Danelle. They've been at it for a long time, guys. Whether they're your favorite or not, you gotta give them a little bit of love. Ryan and Danelle Lockhart, a strong champion for Fred Astaire, NDC. Gosh, what a night, what a night. Well guys, I have to say, this has been 
a wonderful experience, even though the circumstances of my being here weren't exactly to my liking. I'm super glad that I got a chance to spend a little bit of time with you all here on the live stream. Get a chance to know some of you there at home from across the country and the world. Thanks for tuning in to see us here again. Don't forget to tell your friends and family, Dance Sport Dynamics for anything dance related if you're looking for the hottest channel to deliver to you. The quality and performance that ballroom dancing can bring you here in the modern age. Look no further to Dance Sport Dynamics. Give us a like and a subscribe. We'd appreciate your help. That's right. That's going to do it for us. Make sure you tune in tomorrow night, 10.30, approximately 10.30, Eastern Time. Oh, they're doing that too. Uh, 10.30 tomorrow night for the show choreographed by Katie Guijen. That's going to be a wonderful professional show. When are show? we going to see you choreographing a show? Fantastic question. I've been choreographing a number of the shows for Fred Astaire Texas now, and uh, I've straight up told some people I got to do this thing. So, like, I'm throwing, my, I'm throwing my hat in the ring. If you're looking for a great show, we got some good ideas down in Texas. Come, come look us up. Congratulations we'll to our there. 10 Dance Champions. Indeed, our 10 Dance Champions. Well done. There they are. Thanks to Love Muffin, even though he had to dip out. Thanks to Rhubarb Pie. Thanks for having me, your very own Butter Biscuit. Anytime we get to play again, you looking know, forward so to it. It's so funny. Like, I, I fight with people to try to do this with me. Like, literally fight with them. Like, like come on, it's fun. It's easy. It's nothing to be afraid of. And then after, every, every time that someone actually does it, like, hey, I had a lot of fun doing it. Yeah. yeah. I literally walked up to Rhubarb Pie today, and I was like, so, uh, what's, what's going on? What's going on? You got anybody doing the live stream tonight? Congratulations to our nine dance winners, Ivan and Valeria. Don't forget to check out those interviews from NDC Live with Stephen Knight with all your winners tonight. That's right, 7 a.m. All right. The 7 a.m. start, but that's a wrap. That's a wrap. Thank you, everyone, for the live chat. Thank you, Jandar. Thank you, Aaron. Anytime. Wherever you may be, we'll see you tomorrow night. Bye, everybody. Ciao.